You get $10 million. $10 million? I'm doing it. Just wait, there's a catch. What is it? You get $10 million, but a snail is chasing you for the rest of your life, and if it touches you, you die. Okay. The snail can't die, and its only purpose is to find you wherever you go. Are you still taking the money? Hey Siri, how long does it take a snail to walk a mile? A snail travels at a speed of 0 0.03 miles per hour. So if it doesn't stop it will take approximately 33 hours to travel one mile. How many miles is half of the Earth? Half of the Earth is 24,901 miles. And how long would it take a snail to walk that far? For a snail to walk 24,901 miles it would take 821,733 hours, which adds up to 93 years. So I'll just travel the summer hot. Please, please, I don't want to die. Do you have any last words? <laughs> you have terrible aim. Like, what were you even throwing at? Look, I told you to never touch that. Wake up. Dad, I want you to read these words from top to bottom and say bear before each word. Bear, bear, bear say, Bear two, bear dummy, bear this, bear got, bear I, bear long, bear how, bear look. Now, do the same thing, but say the word bear after each word. Bear bear, say bear, two bear, dummy bear, this bear, god bear, I bear, long bear, how bear, look bear. Now I want you to say bear before the word and after the word. Bear bear bear, bear say bear, bear two bear, bear dummy bear, Bear this bear, bear god bear, bear I bear, bear long bear, bear how bear, bear look bear. What's the point of this? Finally, read it from bottom to top. Look how long I got this dummy to say bear. Ah, <gasps> oh, Mom, can you come here? What's wrong, Luke? Don't you smell that? No. What does it smell like? It smells like up dog. Huh? What's up dog? Not much. How about you? No! Wake up, healthy. <laughs> Luke, it's time to come inside for dinner. Can I come eat later? I'm playing soccer with Jimmy. No, the food's almost ready, so come in before it gets cold. Please, Mom. Get in here right now. <laughs> we'll see you later, Jimmy. Luke, it's so nice out today. Why don't you go play outside for a bit? No, I'm busy grinding this new Fortnite season. Okay, but I want you to get some sunlight today, so how about in one hour you shut it down and go outside? No, I don't want to go outside. There's nothing to do out there. Well, if you don't shut it down and get outside in one hour, I'm grounding you for a week. <sighs> I'm really disappointed in you. Hey! Look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't give me that look. Say something! Why are you so quiet? What are you hiding from me? I'm sorry, Dad, I- Don't you dare talk back to me! What do you want from me? Gee! You better watch your tone, young man. Dad, I bet you a hundred dollars that I could put this egg inside this bottle of water. Without cracking it? Yeah, without cracking it. Okay, deal. Okay, here I go. It's in. <laughs> I don't believe you. Then take a look! Mom, can I go play my video games? Only if you answer my next question correctly. What? Fine. Why did you hit yourself? Because I wanted to. And now I'm gonna go play my video games. <gasps> Luke! Get over here right now! What do you want, Dad? What is this? That's my report card. And why is it on the ceiling? 
Because you told me I needed to bring my grades up. <laughs> Dad, I bet you a hundred dollars that I could drink this glass of milk without touching the towel. Without touching it? Yeah, without touching it. Deal. Okay. Done. You drank it? Uh-huh. Where's my hundred dollars? Wake up, Delphi. Babe, are you almost ready to leave? Almost. I just have a quick question for you. Should I wear the purple or the green? Um, the green. I'm gonna wear the purple, but thank you. Close one. <laughs> so today we're going to be continuing the lesson on the alphabet of numbers. So if you guys remember from last time, a quick example for you guys is A divided by C could equal B, or if you square root it, it could also sometimes equal 3. So before we get into the next unit, I have a quick question for you guys. What is A divided by 3? Luke, what's the answer? My neighbor owes me $500, but he won't pay me back. What should I do? Okay, do you have any proof that he owes you the money? No, that's the thing. Then write a letter for the 5,000 that he owes you, but it's only 500. Exactly, that's what he'll respond with, then you'll have the proof. So how much do I owe you? You don't owe me anything. What do you mean I don't owe you anything? I parked my sleigh here. Don't worry about it, it's on the house. Wake up, Delphi. Get you, you little puck. <laughs> Did I hear what I think I heard? Oh, uh, hi, Dad. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm playing hockey and I was going in to get the puck. What about the first word? What other word? Oh, ditch. With a D. Ditch. Don't worry, Dad. I would never swear. Phew. I thought I was going to get in trouble. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Luke, what are you doing? Why did you just run away from the operation table? Because the nurse kept saying, don't be scared, don't be afraid, this is just a small operation. So? What's wrong with that? Why are you scared? Isn't that a good thing? She was saying that to the surgeon. <laughs> what makes you mad? What makes me mad? Yeah, nothing. Nothing? Oh, can I tell you something? Yeah, what is it? Actually, never mind. What does Y-E-S spell? Yes. Now what does E-Y-E-S spell? E-S. No, it spells eyes. Okay, let's see if you can get this one. How do you spell shop? S-H-O-P. Good. Now what do you do at a green light? Stop. You stop at a green light? Hey mom, I want you to meet my girlfriend. I think she's going to be the one that I marry one day. Hi. Are you serious? You couldn't find anyone better? Mom! Don't say that in 
front of her? That's really mean, and I love her. Honey, I wasn't talking to you. Wake up, Sophie. Hire you. What? Because you're hiring. I'm sorry, but that's not an acceptable answer. Oh yeah? Well, you know what? Why should I accept this position? What? Yeah. Why is this position open? Do people keep quitting? Uh... Why are people quitting this job? Is there something you're not telling me? Um, that's not in here. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. I'll see you Monday at 9 a.m. <gasps> Eight things mothers hate. One, when you go out. Two, when you don't go out. Three, when you eat too much. Four, when you eat too little. Five, when you sleep too much. Six, when you don't sleep enough. Seven, when you answer her question. And eight, when you don't answer her question. Look who it is, Luke. Why don't we get a picture of you two? Mom, look who's at the bottom of the stairs. Who's at the bottom, honey? Whoa, 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 whoa! Get away from there! You're gonna fall! Get away from there before you hurt yourself! <sighs> I'm tired. <sighs> hey, Luke, can I ask you a quick favor? Oh my goodness! This place is a mess! Mom, look what I got on my chest! Let me see, honey. What? How could you do so bad? How much would you sell your horse for? I'd sell it to you for $2,000. 2000 Deal. Perfect. You can come and pick him up tomorrow. Hey, I'm here to pick up the horse. I have some bad news. Unfortunately, the horse passed away. <sighs> you know what? It's fine. Just give me my money back. I can't do that. I already spent it all. <sighs> okay, then give me the dead horse. Why? What are you going to do with it? I'm going to raffle it off. You can't raffle off a dead horse. Of course I can. I just won't tell anyone that it's dead. Hey man, what happened to the dead horse? Did you end up raffling it off? <laughs> I sure did. I sold 500 tickets for $25 each and made a total of 25,000. Did anyone complain? Just the guy that won. So I gave him his money back. <gasps> How could I help you guys today? Hi, my wife and I are looking for a vehicle that'll fit us and our three kids. Hmm, I think I have the perfect one in mind. Follow me. All right. So this truck right here will fit a whole family without any problems. Oh, what's wrong? Well, it won't work for us then. Why not? Because our family has lots of problems. Oh, their class got their test back today? Oh, he's coming in right now. I'll ask him. Hey Luke, I heard you guys got your test back. Can I see it? Oh, this? Um, no, this isn't, this, no, this isn't my test. Um, it's in, in my backpack, but I, I really have to go to the bathroom. I'll, I'll show it to you in a couple seconds. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you go, you go. Oh, I, I found him, Mom. Let me see here. Oh, 84 out of 100. Good job. Why don't we go out for dinner tonight to celebrate? Yes! Dad, what gets wetter, the more it dries. What gets wetter, the more it dries? Nothing. A towel. Oh. I bet you can't get this one either. What word is spelled incorrectly in the dictionary? In the dictionary? None. It's a dictionary. Dad, the word incorrectly is spelled incorrectly. <laughs> Look at this picture that I took while I was on vacation. Wow. You were in Egypt? No! I was in Paris. Alright Luke, 225. You got this. Actually wait, is there a bathroom in here? No! There's a litter box in the corner. Come on. Yes! I'm in the lead! Oh! Are you winning? Mm. So is the answer A or B? A. A. B. <laughs> How could you get that wrong? 
Actually, he's right. The answer is B. I got it! I got it! Jeez, <laughs> oh, guys, I'm really thirsty. I'll be right back. Look! It's either inside or out, okay? Okay. Actually, Luke? Yeah? Don't go back outside. Dinner's almost ready. Honey, are you almost ready to go? We're gonna be late for our dinner reservation. Almost. I just need to put on some makeup. You don't need makeup. Aww, that's so nice of you to say. You need plastic surgery. Oh, Mom, we're here. Hey, guys, how was the drive? Eh, it was boring. <laughs> oh, I know. That's why I make you guys drive here. <laughs> and how's my beautiful daughter-in-law doing? I love the new hair. I'm doing good, and thank you. Good to hear. And where are the kids? Here, they come right now. Hey, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. And where's the other one? The other what? Mom? Dad? You guys ready to leave yet? Dinner's ready. Okay, I'll be there in like 30 seconds. No, you're gonna turn it off and come eat right now. Five? Okay, okay. Mom, is dinner almost ready? Oh, shoot. We just finished eating. Sorry, I forgot to come and tell you that it was ready. Dinner's ready. Okay, I just need to finish this game, then I'll come. Of course, honey. You can come whenever you're ready. You know what? I'll bring you your food so you can continue playing. Hey, can you give me my charger back, please? What percentage is your phone at? Um... Hey Luke, what do you think you're doing? Class isn't the place to sleep. If class isn't the place to sleep, then home isn't the place to study. <gasps> what time is it? Ah! Luke, is everything alright? I'm a genie, and I grant you one wish. Okay, I wish for... But wait, before you make your wish, there's only one rule. You can't wish for more wishes. Oh. <gasps> whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Hey, what are you writing on that paper? I wish that everything on this paper will come true. <gasps> 27 more seconds, guys. Come on, push through. Keep that butt down, Alex. Good work, good work, guys, come on. 19 more seconds. Good work, Luke, great form. For today's assignment, you're gonna need a partner. But I'm gonna choose them. You to sit down. Please, miss. I was supposed to get off three stops ago. Luke, I ran into Grandma at the grocery store and she told me to give this to you. Aw, it's so cute. I just need to put these groceries in the camper and then I'm ready to leave. Are you packed and ready to go on our trip? Yep. Okay, hop in the truck with Dad and I'll be there in a couple minutes. Hey, Luke. Wait, why are you upset? My phone just died and I forgot to bring a wall charger to plug it in. Really? I was just going to ask if I could borrow yours, because Dad and I forgot ours too. This is going to be the worst camping trip ever! Hey guys, Grandma made it! Why are you so sad, Luke? His phone's dead and we all forgot wall chargers. Well, what about the one that I gave you? This? Yeah! Pull the legs off! It's called the Ugreen Nexode RG65 watt charger, and it could charge up to three devices at one time. Wow, I think I need to get one too. Where can I get it? You can get it by clicking the button on Luke's profile. Okay, it's time for your test. Do you know what this means? I don't know. Do you know what this is? Afraid not. What's wrong with this? No clue. Tell me what's missing here. Why? 
Because this is a test! Now answer the question! Doctor, I can't sleep at night. I keep seeing donkeys playing soccer. Alright, well I'm gonna give you some medicine then, and I want you to start taking it tonight, okay? Can I start tomorrow? Why tomorrow? Because tonight's the finals. <gasps> Wake up! One second, I'm almost done. There we go. What do you think? Let me see. Oh yeah, that's that's really really good. <laughs> Luke? <laughs> this is so much fun. Where are you? <laughs> Luke, before you start playing any video games today, I'd like you to do your chores first. Okay, can I see the list? Don't panic, just select all of the motorcycle. There we go, okay, okay. What about in the corners here? Oh yeah, definitely that's a piece. Okay, okay. Did I get all the tire? Oh no, there we go. I wonder if the feet count. Oh, actually, is that part of it? Yeah, I'm gonna, actually no. Actually, yeah, let's, yeah, let's go with that. Now is that a tiny piece by his hand? Oh, actually, that's a mirror, of course. Okay, okay, I think we're good. young man. Do you have a girlfriend yet? Nope, not yet. Good. Stay away from us girls. We're evil. Hey grandma. Hey Luke. Do you have a girlfriend yet? No, not right now. Good. Keep it that way for as long as you can. Hey grandma. Where is your wife? You should be married by now. Dad, let's see how smart you are. Fine. What's the opposite of bottom? Top. What does S-H-O-P spell? Shop? What do you do at a green light? Stop? <laughs> I want to relax today, so I bought three movie tickets. Why three tickets? You and your parents. <laughs> If you had five dollars to pick the perfect girlfriend, and here are your options, what would you pick? What? Those options aren't fair. I said, pick your perfect girlfriend. Okay then, I would use the five dollars to buy five water bottles and sell them for two dollars each. Then I would repeat this until I get a hundred dollars, and then I would buy your girlfriend. <laughs> Smart guy. And I would still have ninety-five dollars left. Luke, have you seen my glasses anywhere? You broke them! Give them back to me! I'm sorry, Dad! It was an accident, I swear! It's okay. I'm not mad. Really? No. You just need to be more careful next time, okay? Yes, I will. Come here. <laughs> Never touch myself again! o'clock. How do you know? Because my mom told me I was to be home by four. <laughs> why didn't you show up to dinner last night? I'm sorry that I couldn't make it. Ah, and that's why I cheated on you and went with someone else. Wow, I was at a funeral. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. Who died? My feelings for you. <laughs> no, I should get it because I always get 100% on my tests, but I've never skipped a day of class. What are you two arguing about? We found this $20 bill and decided to give it to whoever could tell the biggest lie. You should be ashamed of yourselves. When I was your age, I didn't even know what a lie was. Ah, you win. Mom, how much longer? We just got here. I've only put one thing in the cart. Mom, are you almost done? We're about halfway done. All right, this is the last thing. Now let's go pay. Yes! I can't wait to get home! <laughs> we 
Wait a second. Is that Carla? Hi, Shelly. Long time no see. Uh oh. What are you gonna play? You gonna play Jumbaloo Zoo? Where's Jumbaloo Zoo? You wanna play Wheels on the Bus again? I am a robot! <laughs> Miss, do you know why I put you over today? Nope. Well, I caught you going 80 in a 60 zone. Can I see your license, please? You guys need to get your act together. What do you mean? Just yesterday, you guys took my license away, and now today, you expect me to show it to you. <laughs> What are you doing in here? I'm just about to install these lights on the wall. Did I hear the word install? Yeah, I'm just putting up these lights. Let me grab my tools, I'll be right back. No dad, I don't need your help. All right, let's get started. <laughs> she just walked right past him. It was almost as if he was a ghost. <laughs> It was like he wasn't even there. <laughs> There's a stop sign. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? There's a stop sign coming up. I see it, Mom. Luke, are you gonna stop? <gasps> that was a close one. Doctor, am I gonna be okay? Yes, as long as you take these pills. Thank you so much. Wait, yeah? How often should I take them? Oh, right. Take one a day. Okay, and for how long? For the rest of your life. Okay, I can do that. Wait, there's only three left. Exactly. <gasps> Wake up, filthy. What's up guys, welcome back to Full Time Ninja. Now in this video, you guys are going to be learning how to get a six pack in five minutes. Now I know it sounds crazy, but... You do this for a week... Hey Luke, do you have any clothes you want me to wash? What's the lowest you'll go? The lowest I'll go is 750. How about 150? Sure, let's do it. Perfect, where do you want to meet? Let's meet on 101 Street in about 10 minutes. Sounds good. Hey, I'm here. Okay, head inside. Into the comedy club? Yeah, then get on stage and tell your jokes to somebody else. Ouch. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Day 15 in Costa Rica. As soon as I woke up, I enjoyed the warm weather and view from our Airbnb since we're going back to the freezing cold on Wednesday. Here's a quick tour of it. We've got the kitchen, the dining table, the living room, the view through the whole place. Then upstairs, there's three more master bedrooms, all with beautiful views. In the morning, I had a protein bar for breakfast and just relaxed. I also hopped in the pool for a bit. Then for lunch, we went to our favorite spot that we've gone the past three days. After that, we hopped on this fishing boat that we had booked and got destroyed by some waves for a couple hours and got soaking wet. We were out there for five hours and caught zero fish but hey at least we got to see the sunset we then got ready for dinner and ate at this fish market that we hadn't gone to before after we went back to our airbnb and i watched my favorite youtuber for a few minutes before heading to bed for our final day in costa rica <gasps> mom that was
world is on fire. Should we call the fire department? No. Let's just sit here and watch it burn down the whole house. Ba -da 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 -da. Yep. Yep. Why do you keep saying that? Who? Me? No. The rain outside. Hey, do you need anything from the grocery store? Oh, are you there right now? No. I'm sitting in the living room at home. Honey, I'm home from work. <laughs> it's my dad. Oh, how's my little boy doing? What's he doing with his hands on his face? I've never seen him do that one before. <gasps> what the heck? Did, did he just disappear? Peekaboo! Okay, <laughs> that was a good one. There's a guy on me! Help! 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 No, this stupid game! What's with all the ruckus down here? <sighs> this game is making me mad. Well, it's just a video game and it's really annoying, so quit it. Team. How are you even on this team? You can't even skate. Well, you're not gonna pass it then. Shoot the puck! Shoot the puck! Shoot the puck! No! Why would you pass it to him? Just shoot it in the net! What the heck are you doing? Oh my gosh! I can't even watch this game anymore! You're being so annoying. I thought you went to bed. Pick it up! Pick up what? The ice cubes under the fridge. Now put them in the sink. Honey, I think our son has reading problems. Really? Why do you say that? Well, watch this. Hey, son, can you uh spell this word for us, please? Um, T O M A T O. Good job. What's the word? Disgusting. You see what I mean? Well, that's because you gave him a hard word. Here, let's try again with another word. Can you spell this? Mm, D-A-D. Good job. Now put the letters together. Cheater. What is the answer? <sighs> Whatever, I'll just put something random. <sighs> Here you go, Mr. Luke. Thank you, Luke. Now you can go sit down and relax for the rest of the class. Sounds good. Psst, nerd. Give me a worksheet so I can copy it. But I'm still, um, I'm, I'm still working on the last question. Does it look like I care? The bell's about to ring soon, and I haven't done anything, so give me your worksheet or else we'll get a knuckle sandwich. Please, I, re I really need to finish it before the end of class, or my parents will be upset. You asked for it. <laughs> hey! Luke, no chewing gum in class! <laughs> Miss, may I go to the restroom, please? Yep, go ahead. Thank you. <sighs> oh, it looks like Luke's back from the restroom. You can go now, Eric. Is that my phone?
Hello, no one is available to take your call at this time. Yesterday I went to the mall and I saw her standing there. Boys, can you quiet down just a little bit, please? But I didn't know what to say, so I said, can I smell your hair? Boys, I said quiet down! All right, class, I'm going to come around and pick up last night's homework now. Oh, shoot. Um... Uh... I guess I forgot it at home? Okay, just bring it in tomorrow. <sighs> okay, class, today we're going to play a game where you remove the third letter from your name. Jeez, all of a sudden, I'm in a really good mood. There's a snake in my boots! Dad... Can you transfer me money for lunch, please? I'm Batman. Is that me? <laughs> what? Guys, that wasn't what you think it was. It was just a chair. See? We'll do it again. Okay, boys, that was my last game for the night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come on, you can play one more. Don't let us down. <sighs> okay, fine. One more, then I gotta go to bed. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come on, man, we died way too early. We need to play a better game than that. <sighs> You're right, that one was pretty quick. Fine, one more. <laughs> All right, I'm shutting off my computer. Wait, bro, we can't end on a loss. Just, just one more. <sighs> it would be nice to end on a win. Fine, one more. Yes, let's go, finally. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wait, one more, we can't end on a win. Luke, I'd like you to come do the dishes, please. Why can't you just do them? Hey, watch it. Okay. Oh, well, I'm Pennywise. Oh! I like the smell of your hair. Thank you. Okay then, get out. Just wait, I got bit by a wolf. Where? No, just a regular one. Oh! <gasps> Uncle John! Hey Luke, how's it going? Wait, what's that on your face? Here, let me get it. Ha! I got your nose! <laughs> I have one final question for you during this job interview. Is this glass empty or half full? Um, That's a trick question. It's full. Congratulations, you're hired. Yes, thank you so much, sir. I won't let you down. What's your biggest ache in a guy? Like when they... No, okay. Say it, was... say no, it. No, no, no. That was so mean. Don't I was going to say if they're like really nice. Oh, I love this movie. I've already watched it, obviously, but the plot is so good. I, I want to see what you think of it. Imagine if she fails the test and it causes her not to graduate, but then she wakes up and realizes it's all a dream, but now she knows what questions are going to be on the test, so she studies them and then ends up passing. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. That would be pretty sick, <laughs> but no. Jeez, it's cold out. I need to move closer to the fire.
what the? Where are all the cups? Ouch! What's wrong? I've had a really bad pain in my neck all day. Oh, well I'm going to the store right now. Do you want me to get you something for your neck? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, what do you want me to get? A diamond necklace. <laughs> You failed your math test? Hey, don't look at my test. Please don't tell mom. Don't tell me what? Luke got an F on his test. <gasps> Let me see. <laughs> Good joke. Huh? <laughs> he got an A+. Plus. What? How? Are you going to sit on that chair? No, I'm just pulling it out so I can sit on the floor. Are you going to drink that? No, I'm going to pour it on myself. Marissa? Hmm? <gasps> Are you proposing to me? No, my legs were just tired. Step in my office right now. What is it, sir? I saw you arguing with the customer that just left. I've told you this before, but the customer is always right. Do you understand? Yes, sir. The customer is always right. So what were you arguing about with the customer? He said my boss is stupid and an idiot, sir. Really? And what did you say to him? I told him he was right. <gasps> the most insane thing ever happened to me, bro. You won't even believe it. Hey, are you even listening to me? It's okay. I got you. So, as I was saying, literally the craziest thing ever happened to me. So, I- Bro, I totally forgot about this test. I didn't study at all. I know, me neither. I'm gonna fail and my parents are gonna be so mad, right? I just hope I pass. Okay class, you may turn over the paper and start the test. Teacher, I'm done. That liar! Everyone get on the line! I'm gonna make teams for the next game! Go down the line so we're on the same team. Good idea! One, two. One, two. One, yes! Two. One. Two. Psst, can we switch spots? Whatever. Two. One. Two. Two. What? One. All right, can I get the ones over there and the twos over here? So everyone would agree with me that we can't breathe underwater, right? What? You don't believe me? Hey Luke, what's your computer password? It's Luke1234. Thank you. But wait, since you know my password now, what's yours? Oh, mine is Superman, Batman, Flash, Iron Man, Loki, Thor, Deadpool, Spider-Man. Why is it so long? Because it said it had to be at least eight characters. Hey mom, can I- No. I was just asking if I could- No. Hear me out mom, I just want- No. <sighs> no. Fine. Hey, didn't I ask you to clean the house today? Well, I tried asking you if you wanted me to clean the dishes, but you said no. Then I tried asking if you wanted me to back in the house, but you said no again. I even considered doing your laundry, but you just kept saying no. Oh. Can I please? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, thanks. I'm going out with my friends. I'll be back at 1am. Hi, it's nice to meet you. My name's Luke. What's yours? Oh, I don't have a name. What do you mean you don't have a name? Everyone has a name. I do have a name. Then what is it? I don't have a name. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize what time it is. I better get going.
do it again. What time is it? Do it again. All right. Ouch. Do it again. Ow. Come on, man. Pass the ball. Is that all you're gonna eat? Yeah, I don't really like anything else here. Well, in that case, would you like two muffins? Really? Yeah, that would be amazing. Okay. <gasps> okay, class, I want everyone to introduce themselves by saying their first name as something that you enjoy doing. We're gonna start off with the boys first. My name is Luke, and I like watching sports. My name is Jesse, and I like watching sports too. My name is Todd, and I also like watching sports. Wow, all the boys love watching sports. What about the girls? My name is Sports. Today we're going to be starting our new unit on algebra. <sighs> Why do we have to learn this? We're never even going to use this in life. Do you know what the speed limit is? No idea. Oh, there's a sign coming up. Where? Oh. Alright class, as you guys could probably tell, we're going to be watching a movie today. But before we start, I'm going to hand out the worksheet for it. Hello. Hey Luke, how was your night? It was good. Jeez, it's really late. You're at the restaurant for a long time. Well actually, you won't believe this. For like the past hour and a half, we rented these electric scooters and we rode around town. What? Yeah, it was so much fun. Were you wearing a helmet? No. Come on, Luke, you know better than that. It's pitch black outside. Someone could have fell and got hurt. If I knew you weren't just going to the restaurant, I would have let you leave the house tonight. What? While the contestant was running from Nolan? Hey, Luke, can I ask you a quick favor? What? He's lucky my- What? Is protein Excuse me, miss. I have a question about the video. One second. Let me just quickly pause the video so I can hear you better. Long fibrous chains containing proteins. Bundles of thousands of fibers make up the muscle itself. When an athlete engages in a- Okay, what were you gonna ask? <gasps> we have a substitute. <gasps> Come sit beside me, but I'll get in trouble. She won't even know. <sighs> okay. Good morning, class. My name is Mrs. Spatula, and I'm gonna be your substitute for the day. <laughs> Mrs. Spatula? <laughs> What's so funny, boys? <laughs> no nothing, miss. What's your name? I'm gonna do attendance. My name is Ben. Last name? D Dover. Thank you there, Mr. Ben Dover. <laughs> What's so funny? <gasps> How did you get that bruise on your arm? Oh, I ate some Halloween candy. But eating Halloween candy won't give you a bruise. It will if it's your big brother's candy. <gasps> Luke, how do you spell crocodile? K-R-O-K-D-A-I-L <laughs> No, that's wrong. Well, maybe it's wrong, but you asked how I spell it. Here's your baby, sir. Aw, thank you. Unfortunately, I have some bad news, though. Your wife didn't make it. Then give me the one my wife made. Luke, supper's ready. Okay, I'm coming. Hey, go wash your hands. But I'm using a fork. It doesn't matter. Go wash them. <sighs> Fine. Plus three equals five. Does it? Let me just make sure. Two plus three equals yeah, five. Wait, let me let, let me just make sure one more time. Two plus three equals five. Okay. 
Welcome to my house. Wow, this is your house? No! It's my neighbor's. Mom, do you have any flour? Why? Are you baking something? No! I want to plant it outside and see if it turns into a real flower. Mom, I'm gonna go for a walk. Right now? No! In three weeks! Mom, did you change the Wi-Fi password? Oh, yeah I did. The new password is 123456. Okay, thanks. It didn't work. Huh? What did you type? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. For this next game, you need to get into groups of three. <laughs> Luke, do you have a group? No. Perfect, because Xavier doesn't either, so the three of us can be a group. Awesome! <laughs> I have your son. I don't even have a son. Oh yeah? Then who just asked me for warm milk and made me cut the crust off his sandwich? Oh no! You have my husband! <laughs> hey mom? Yeah? Do you need any help? Oh no, I'm good. Thanks for asking though. Okay, I'm just gonna go watch some TV then. Ah, no one ever helps me clean this dang house. Hey, do you want to go for a drink sometime? Yeah, sure. Okay, how about 10 tomorrow night? Uh, sorry, but that's too many. <laughs> Mom, after you're done shopping, can we get McDonald's on the way home? No, we have plenty of food at home. Hey, can you ask Mom if we get McDonald's on the way home? Okay. <laughs> what is your biggest fear? I'm terrified of heights. I avoid all tall buildings and even libraries. Why libraries? Because they have the most stories. Can anyone tell me what the name of the cat was in this book? Oh, I know it, I know it, I know it! Luke? Maury. Sorry, what was that? Maury. Just one more time? Maury. Rory, yep, that's correct. Alright, what other questions can I ask you guys? Alright class, your question for today is what do you want to be when you're older? Let's start off with you, Olivia. I want to be a teacher just like you. Awesome! What about you, Tom? I want to be a mechanic. I can definitely see you doing that. And what about you, Emma? I want to be a rich and famous model and actress. Wow, good for you. And you, Jesse? Jesse? Huh? What do you want to do when you're older? I want to marry Emma. <gasps> Listen class, we only have a few minutes left, so I'm going to come around and hand out tonight's homework. It's only three questions long, Luke. Oh, perfect! That won't take very long, then. Luke, do you have any homework? It's getting close to bedtime. Yeah, but it won't take very long. I'll do it in a couple seconds. <sighs> I better go do my homework. Actually, it'll only take a couple minutes. I'll do it in the morning. <sighs> okay. I'm really bored. What should we do? Why don't we go to my house? We could like go swimming in my pool. I even have a ping pong table. Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, only if your parents are okay with it though. Oh yeah, don't worry. I already asked them and they said they're fine with it. Okay, as long as they said that. Yeah, let's go. So you're sure it's okay with your parents, right? Yeah, man, don't worry. They're cool with it. Okay, just making sure. Just wait here for a second. Dad, is it okay if Luke comes over? Wait, I thought you- He said he really wants to come over and use our pool and stuff. You offered. Um, I don't know. We're pretty busy here. We're about to have company over. Oh, okay, because I told him I wasn't really sure if he could or not. Yeah, I think your friend needs to learn some more manners. Excuse me, can I borrow your pen quickly? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working. Really? It should. Oh. Well then, can you try writing your number on my paper? Wake up, filthy. Dad? What? You should be sleeping. I'm thirsty. Can you bring me a glass of water? No! If you want it, then come downstairs and get it yourself. Dad? What? I'm really thirsty. Can you please bring me a glass of water? I already told you no. If you ask me again, I'm going to come up there and spank you. WHAT?! When you come to spank me, can you bring me water? Do not buy this speaker. It stops working after like one hour. It's literally the worst financial decision I've ever made. My girlfriend even left me because of it. My cat ran away. And, and then my house burned down. <laughs> Just please listen to me and don't buy it. Daddy? 
What? I'm in a rush. I missed the bus. You what? Alright, go in the car. Uh, I didn't even get to finish my coffee. What time is it? 8.55? Now I'm gonna be late for work! Daddy! Now what do you want? I forgot my backpack! <laughs> hey! I thought you were sick. I am. I'm too tired to do anything. So you're too tired to go to school, but not too tired to go on your phone all day? Well, what do you want me to do? Stare at the wall the whole day? If you were really sick, you'd be resting right now. Fine. Where are you going? Even though you're at home sick, I still have work to do on the computer, so just continue resting. Luke, I forgot to ask you something. I told you to rest. I didn't want it to come to this, but it may be the only way to make you sleep. Your last birthday card here is from Grandma. Thank you so much, Grandma. Why don't I put that money in a safe spot so you don't lose it? Okay, good idea. I'm pretty sure he's outside in the garage. Okay, thank you. Hey dad, where did you put my money? What am I doing? Eh, not much. I just picked up this brand new tool today, so I'm just in the garage testing it out. Is there a problem, officer? Sir, you were speeding. Oh, okay. Can I see your license, please? I would give it to you, but I don't have one. You don't have one? I lost it a few years ago for drunk driving. I see. Can I have your vehicle registration papers, please? I can't give you those either. Why not? I stole this car. Stole it? Yeah, and I killed the owner. You what? His body's in the trunk. I need backup right now. Sir, can I get you to step out of the vehicle, please? Why? Is there a problem? One of my officers told me that you stole this car and murdered the owner. Murdered the owner? Yes. Can you please open the trunk? Yeah, of course. Hmm, I didn't find anything. Is this your car? Yeah, here are the registration papers. My officer also claims that you don't have a license. Here it is. My officer said that you didn't have a license, stole this car, and murdered the owner. I bet that liar told you I was speeding, too. Hello? Yeah, I'll be right back. Did you get a haircut? No, my hair fell out. Anyway, I'm really hungry. Do you need food? No, I'm just gonna eat some air. <laughs> well, you better get cooking because it's getting late. No, really? I thought it was 7 a.m. Check this out. I just stole three muffins from the bakery. <laughs> You're such a rookie. What do you mean? Let me show you how to do it the honest way, okay? Follow me. Okay. Hey, are you the owner of this bakery? Yes, I am. How can I help you? Well, I've got a magic trick for you. Okay, what is it? If I can make three of your muffins disappear, then reappear, can I get them for free? Um... Deal. <coughs> now what are you gonna do? Poop them out? <laughs> is that the trick? <laughs> no. Check my friend's bag. Just wait here, I have to go to the bathroom, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Bro, you should have seen the sick Fortnite dub I got last night, hey babe? Yeah, he clutched this so hard. Really?
Yeah, bro, you down for some duos tonight? Yeah, of course, bro. I haven't had a dub in a minute. Awesome, I'll slide in the DMs later tonight. Yeah, bro, just hit me up. Hi, long time no see. How are you? What is this? Oh, you couldn't even make the bed. How do you expect me to stay in this filthy house? I'm leaving. I'm going 41 in a 40 zone. Do you see that stop sign up there? Yes, it's a long ways away though. Are you sure you see it? Yes, mom, I see it. Well, are you gonna slow down or what? Come on, use the right pedal. There we go, thank you. Mom, the light just turned red. Oh, thank you. Hey Luke, you know why your name starts with an L? Why? Because you're a loser. L for loser. Hey, don't call me that. It makes me feel sad inside and it really hurts my feelings. Oh yeah? And what are you gonna do about it? Hey teacher, he called me a loser. Jesse, can you please say sorry to Luke? Fine. I'm sorry for calling you a loser. I shouldn't have said that. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Do you want to be friends? Yeah, sure. We can be best friends forever. All right, today we're gonna to be learning about... <laughs> Jeffrey, why are you late? Oh, uh, sorry there, Mr. Lou. I was just, uh, just easing about. Oh, okay, no worries then. So, as I was saying... <laughs> but before I hand out today's assignment, I'm gonna pick up yesterday's assignment. Jeffrey, did you finish the assignment? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's done. I just, uh, I forgot at home. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you bring it in tomorrow, then that's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, right. Now before we move on, does anyone have any questions about anything we just went over? Yeah, I do. Can you just go over that final step one more time, please? Oh my gosh, were you not just listening? That's literally the last thing I went over. How do you have a question about that and nothing else? Oh, don't mind me. Just pretend like I'm not here. I just want to listen in for a little bit. Oh, yeah, of course. So, uh, as, as I was saying, yeah, I could definitely go over that one more time for you. So... Hey, can you do the dishes, please? All of them? Yes, all the dishes. But all I did is put one cup in. Don't make me ask you again. Okay, okay, fine. Hey, who are you? I'm your son. Get out of my house before I call the cops. Let me take that from you, honey. Is there anything else I can do? Can you make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Coming right up. Oh, I forgot the bananas. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, whatever. <gasps> Wait, mommy, don't leave me! <laughs> Please! Please slow down! I don't have any money! <laughs> Sorry about that. <sighs> I'm afraid you only have two weeks to live. What? No, that can't be true.
everyone get on the ground! This is a robbery! Now give me all your money! Okay, okay! Here! Just please don't hurt me! Don't move! You're under arrest for armed robbery! I hereby sentence you to 20 years in prison. Yes! Oh yeah, do you guys want to go to a concert with me on Friday night? I have extra tickets and I don't really want to go by myself. Yeah bro, I'm down! Yeah, I'll go too, that sounds like fun. Awesome, you guys can come to my house and then we can all go there together. Hello, no one is available to take your call at this time. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, I just wanted to discuss some things with you guys about tonight. Uh, can you give me a call when you guys have a second? Thanks. <sighs> what time is it? Oh geez, I gotta get ready. I'm so excited, I can't wait for tonight. Hello? Hey bro, I'm like really tired right now. I think I'm just gonna stay home tonight. Oh, okay. Um, Dan, are you on this call too? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, hey, what time do you think you're gonna be at my house? Um, I'm actually out of town right now and I won't be able to make it. Dad, can I show you this funny YouTube video on the TV? Yeah, but how long is it gonna take? The video is only like eight minutes long. <sighs> okay. Is something gonna happen soon? I'm getting kind of bored of this. Yeah, it's coming up. I gotta go to the bathroom. Just keep playing it, I'll be right back. But you're gonna miss the best part. Forget it, I'm gonna go do something else. No, fine, just wait, I'll be right back. No, you weren't even watching the video, you were just on your phone the whole time anyway. Aw, oh, it's getting late. I should probably go home before my parents beat me up. Ah! Why don't you ask your parents if you can stay overnight? Oh yeah, that's that's a good idea. I'll go call my mom right now. <sighs> oh! Hello? Hey mom, Noah wants me to stay overnight. Oh, okay. That's fine with me, as long as his parents are okay with it. No, but I don't want to stay overnight. I want to come home. Oh! Okay then, so can you send me a text message saying to come home or something? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Okay, thank you so much. Noah, I was just about to call my mom, but then she sent me a text saying, It's getting dark, can you please come home now? <sighs> Are you serious? Well, maybe if you tell her you're staying overnight, she'll be okay with it. I don't know, man. She sounds kind of mad. I wish I could stay, but I think I better go home. Dang it! Well, I'll see you later, I guess. Yeah, see ya. Alright class, I finally finished marking the test you guys wrote last week, so I'm gonna come around and hand them back. Here you go, Luke. Thank you. Jeez, I really need to clean my binder. Alright, what do I not need? Nope. Nope. You know what? Perfect. <sighs> Much better. Good morning class, I had some troubles with my computer last night, so I'm gonna need that test that I gave you guys yesterday back so I could re-enter the marks. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. You only have until 2050 to live. Oh, that's like 30 years. That's enough time to travel the world, get married, and have a family. Dad, can I tell you my dream? Sure son, what is it? My dream is to one day own a Lamborghini. That would be pretty sweet. What's your dream? Oh, my dreams were gone many years ago. Really? How many years ago? How old are you? <gasps> Bread, milk, chicken, rice... Can you put some peanut butter on the shopping list? Okay, I'll be right back. Why did you tell me to do this? Now I can't even read it. Huh? <gasps> ah, let me play my favorite game. Luke, can you get off the iPad and do the dishes, please? <sighs> okay. <sighs> Here we go. And I just washed your clothes. Can you fold them, please? Okay, is that everything? Just one more thing. I want you to go take out the trash. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Fine, we have a few minutes to play on the iPad before the bus gets here. Mom, I just missed the bus. That's it. I'm taking away your iPad for a month, and you're going to have to walk to school today. I didn't want to have to do this, but you left me with no choice. Are you cutting the grass? No! I'm giving the earth a haircut. 
Did you paint your walls? No, I cleaned the walls so good that it changed colors. Are you going golfing? No, I'm going to play tennis. This game is so much fun. <gasps> oh, Barry. Hey, don't unplug my phone. I won't, but can I unplug the speaker? No, I'm using it to watch the TV. What? My iPad's about to die. Well, then why don't you go plug it in somewhere else? Because then I can't sit on the couch and use it. Well, I need my phone in here just in case someone calls, so sorry. <laughs> Not again! Oh shoot. Luke, I need to plug in my phone. Can you find somewhere else? But I just plugged in my iPad. My house, my rules. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> Bye now. What are you doing? Don't worry, Mom. I got the Ugreen Nexo 100 watt charger, which has four ports, so we can charge all of our devices at the same time. Oh, okay. So it says here that you slept on it funny? Uh-huh. Hey, I'm home from work. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten those beans. Hey, honey, I have a surprise for dinner tonight. Can you put this blindfold on? Sure. Okay, now I'm gonna guide you to take a seat in the living room. Okay. <sighs> Just one second, I gotta take this. Don't peek, I'll be right back. Don't worry, I won't. <coughs> oh. I really shouldn't have eaten those beans. <laughs> okay, honey, I'm back. Did you take a peek? Nope. Okay, you can take it off now. Happy birthday! Mom, are you okay? You've been lying in here since you got home from work a few hours ago. You know what, honey? I'm not actually feeling that well. I have a bit of a headache. Oh, really? I think I might know why. Why do you think? It's because you're always on your phone. <laughs> Did you just fall? No, I'm sleeping. What'd you get from the grocery store? Just some eggs. Are you gonna cook them? No, I'm gonna throw them at the neighbor's house. I think I'm gonna buy this shirt. But are you gonna wear it? No, I'm gonna throw it in the trash. Hey, I need a battery so I can tell the time. Is it for a clock? I don't know. That's why I need the batteries. <laughs> All right, uh, final question. Can you count from 5 to 10 for me? Sure, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Congratulations, you've got the job. Thank you so much, sir. I won't let you down. Jack decided to climb up the beanstalk because he didn't know what he would find. Ah, that's disgusting! Whoever smelt it, dealt it! Excuse me, Olivia? What do you have to say for yourself? What? It wasn't me! Mm-hmm. That's what they all say. Come on, come on, you got this! Let's go number one! Come on! Come on, come on, I believe in you! You can do this, come on, you're almost there! Here's your dinner, Luke. I know it's not much, but I, I had to make something quick, because we gotta leave the house soon. What do you mean? This is the nicest looking meal I've ever had. Mom, what do you think of my new jeans? Oh my gosh! They better have given you 50% off for those, because only half of them are left. Huh? Come on, bro. Show me what you got. You're going to catch one of these in the face if you're not careful. Oh yeah? Not if I beat you to it. Boys, can you please stop fighting? Yeah, she's right. Good fight. Yeah, bro. You throw a mean punch. Aw, thanks man. You have good form. I'll see you around. Thanks bro. Take care. Dad, I bet you can't say Coca-Cola without your lips touching each other. Um, oh, ah, uh, oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I did it. Now say it normally. Coca-Cola. See? Your lips didn't even touch. <laughs> Luke, what's the most common sentence used in school? That is correct! 
Do you want to go jump on the trampoline with me? I can't right now, I'm lifting weights. Do you want to go watch a movie with me? Sorry, but I'm already going to watch one with one of my friends. Do you want to go to the park with me? <laughs> Shh, I'm on the phone. Do you want to hang out with me? There, grandson. I play Fortnite. I'll explain what it is in a couple seconds. Oh no! The last guy's shooting me! Quick! Quick a 90! Oh, he got you. Why didn't you build? How do you know what a 90 is? Believe it or not, I used to play Fortnite back in the day, and if you want, I could give you some tips on how to build. Well, Grandpa, times have changed because I played the new Fortnite Zero Build Battle Royale where you can't build. It's been removed. No building? Wow. I wonder what that would be like. <laughs> Let's do this. And after taking all this into consideration, it leaves us with E equals MC squared. Does anyone have any questions? Come on guys, I'm sure someone has a question. That was a lot we just went through. And remember, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Yes, Luke? Uh, why did you use division instead of multiplication in the second last step? Were you even paying attention? That one thunderboom last thing was insane. Yeah, it shook the whole house. <sighs> good morning, guys. Good morning, Luke. How was your sleep last night? It was good. That was a pretty crazy storm last night, hey? What storm? I'm gonna ask him right now. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Can I go to Jesse's house? Huh? Can I go to Jesse's house? No. Say no. Yeah, you can go. We're not doing anything today. Why is it praying? It must be a nice bear. I always pray before I eat. Ah! Come on, Luke, you can do this. <laughs> mm hmm, yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's kind of... <laughs> What's wrong? My crush won't text me back. Let me see what you sent her. Hey girl, every time I see you, I smell your hair. Hmm. I think I know why she's not responding. Really? Why? Well, she probably gets lots of messages from boys, so you need to do something to stick out. And how do I do that? Download Font Key by pressing the link on Luke's TikTok profile. Okay, now what? Now use one of the cool fonts to send her a message. Okay. She didn't answer. Give her a few minutes, jeez. <gasps> Hold it just like this and don't move it, okay? Okay. Hey, what happened to my life? <gasps> It's time to get up and get ready for school. <sighs> Mom, I don't think I can go to school today. <gasps> Just suck it up and go get ready. You're gonna make me late for work. But I really don't feel good. <sighs> uh, I'm not buying it. I'll be waiting in the car. Mom? What? I'm not feeling very good. And what do you want me to do about it? Can I stay home today? I don't care. You can walk to school, take the bus, stay in bed, whatever. Just leave me alone. My little angel! Is everything alright? Yeah? Oh, you don't look very well. Do you want me to get you some soup? Mom, I'm fine. You know what? I'll call the school right now and let them know you won't be in for the rest of the year, okay? Dad, did you know that 10 plus 10 and 11 plus 11 equals the same thing? What are you talking about? They don't equal the same thing. Yes, they do! 10 plus 10 equals 20, and 11 plus 11 equals... 22! <laughs> So you know how I went to the movie theater last night? Yeah, just wait, I think there's something on your glasses. Oh, really?
What? Why are you staring at me like that? Sorry, what were you saying? I'm way better at Fortnite than you. Who? I am. Asked. <laughs> Dad, can you come outside? It's like, no. Dad, I was just wondering if you could possibly come play catch with me outside for a little bit. Yes, that's the one. Sorry, son. Maybe another time. No. I would love to. I'm just really busy right now. Do you know how to do question 11? No, I'm not on that question yet. You'll have to ask the teacher. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Mom? The receipt's in the bag. Thank you. You too. Hey man, how's it going? Where is he? Hello? Where are you? I have lots of stuff to do today. Oh, um, uh, remember that jewelry store that we went to a few months ago? Um, I think so. And remember when you fell in love with that diamond ring? Yeah, of course. How could I forget? And I couldn't afford it at the time, but I promised you I would get it when I propose. Yes, I do remember. Well, I'm in the store next to it. <gasps> Dad? What? You're supposed to be sleeping. You have school tomorrow. I can't fall asleep. There's something in my closet. What do you mean? Of course there's stuff in your closet. That's what it's meant for. No, I mean something big, giant, ugly, hairy, and scary. <sighs> Fine, let me check. Listen. <gasps> okay class, hand in your test if you haven't already. Here you go, miss. Thank you, Luke. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you too. That test wasn't even hard. What took you so long? I got stuck on the back of the page. On the what? The back of the page. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot my phone. Do you mind if I borrow yours for a second? Bombed it, baby. Yeah, here you go. Thank you. Oh. What's up, honey? Hey, babe. Wow, she's so smart. She knew it was me as soon as she picked up the phone. Fine, what is it? What has four letters and sometimes has nine? Um, uh, I don't think that's possible. No, it's possible. What has four letters and sometimes has nine? No, that's impossible. You need to listen closer. What has four letters and sometimes has nine? Oh, no, get lost. I'm trying to read. George Lopez. Here. Okay. Scotty Turner? Yep. Okay. Logan Smith? Here. Wait. Smith. 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 Do you have an older brother? Yeah. You do? What's his name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Smith. That's your brother. Mm-hmm. <sighs> he was a bad kid. Always in detention. Never finished his work. Always late to class. Don't tell me you're like him. Are you like him? Uh, no. Alright, don't worry. We're gonna have a fun year. How's he doing, though? He's doing fine. That's good to hear. Okay, uh... uh Alright, sir, I, uh... I got your x-ray back. Uh-oh. The way you're speaking about it doesn't sound very good. It's exactly what I'm afraid of. Really? What is it? Skeletons. I'm Dr. Davidson. Um, I hear you're not feeling very well. Yeah, for like the past week now, I've just been really lightheaded and dizzy. It looks like I'm gonna have to draw blood if that's okay. Okay. And I'm done. Thank you for your patience. What do you think? I named him Mr. Vessel. Aww. Wait. What do you hey, Um, I guess you'll find out. You haven't built anything yet. It's the found game. What? First off, why do you watch other people play video games? The same reason you watch other people play sports. <gasps> oh my gosh, is that snow? No, it's sugar. 
Mom, can you pass me a glass of water, please? Why, are you thirsty? No! I want to pour it down the sink. Are you going to eat those? No! I'm letting the chips get some fresh air. Class, I'm going to quickly go to the bathroom and I don't want to hear a single noise, okay? I'll be back in a few seconds. I dare you to go sit on the teacher's chair. What? What? Are you a scaredy cat? No? <sighs> Fine. The teacher's coming! Hey Cindy, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing better now that I'm talking to you. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to ask you if you wanted to go watch a movie with me tonight. <gasps> yes, of course! What time? Here, why don't you put your number in my phone, then text me your address, and I'll pick you up at 7 tonight. Sounds good! <laughs> Hi, Luke. Oh, uh, hi there, Cindy. Uh, I didn't see you there. How's it going? Good. Uh, nice weather we're having, hey? Uh, not really. It's raining. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. I have to go to class. Uh, it was nice talking to you. Today we're going to be learning about square root. Oh, everybody line up at the door. Hey, no running. We need to go in a single file line. Leave your backpack, Luke. We don't have time. But it's already on my back. I SAID WE DON'T HAVE TIME! Now everybody, follow me! Uh, miss, do you think we can- Mom, we're out of bread. I was gonna have a peanut butter and honey sandwich. Oh, it's okay, honey. I'll quickly go grab some from the store. I'm back with the bread! <gasps> Thank you so much! No! There's nothing in here! Let me see. Hi, can I get one ticket for the movie, please? Yeah, of course. Which one? Oh, the movie. Okay, are you being dumb on purpose? No. Then which movie do you want to watch? The movie! The one right there! I asked you which one you wanted to see. This one? Or this one? The movie too. Are you being dumb on purpose? Do you remember what that TV show we started watching yesterday is called? Mm, 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 mm. Come on, you're the one who wanted to watch it. You should remember. Mm, 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 mm. I think it started with like an O or something. It's oh, I found it. Outer Banks. Oh. Hello? Hey man, do you want to hang out today? Uh, I'm actually playing Genshin Impact on my computer right now because an update just came out. So I'm gonna have to pass. Sorry. Mom, can I please get a computer? Why do you want a computer all of a sudden? Because my friend is always playing this really fun open world RPG game where you play with different heroes that each have their own special abilities. <sighs> you know what? Fine. Let's go to the store right now. But it's going to be your early birthday present, okay? Okay! Thank you so much! That's the one! Right there! A thousand dollars? I'm not buying that! Please, Mom! I just want to play Genshin Impact with my friend! You know you could play that on your mobile device, right? What? Really? Yeah. Finally, I get to go home and relax. You don't have to work today? <sighs> Lucky. Oh shoot, do I? I don't even know. I'm gonna have to go in and check the schedule. Yes! I don't work until tomorrow. Now I can go home and watch a movie. Hi Luke, do you work today? Nope, not today. I wasn't sure though because I forgot to take a picture of the schedule. Oh, well have a good night. Thanks, you too. Oh wait, Luke? Yeah? Jeremy can't make it in for work tonight. Can you take a shift? All right, so this is gonna be your workspace right here. And is that the fire alarm? Yes, it is. We better get out of here. Oh, and you know the drill, right? Yeah, hi, it's nice to see you again. Yeah, same to you. Why isn't Jake at work today? He's in the hospital, but I saw him dancing with a girl last night. His wife saw him too. <laughs> Luke, do you have any homework tonight? Yeah, but I'm gonna do it later because it'll only take a couple of minutes.
Mom, do we have any art supplies? No, why? I need them to finish my homework. What? Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Because I didn't need them earlier. Yeah, well, you need them now, don't you? No, I was making the whole thing up. Oh, were you actually? No, now can you please just go and get me some art supplies? I would have if you would have told me this earlier when I asked if you had any homework. Why? What's the difference? Oh, let me see. Maybe because it's 11 o'clock at night and all the stores are closed? <sighs> what should we film for our family channel? Uh, how about the Say Yes for 24 Hours Challenge? And what exactly is that? Basically, for the whole video, you can't say no. You have to say yes to everything I ask you. Okay, that could be a pretty entertaining video. Are you ready? Yup, in three, two, one. What's going on guys? It's the Davidson family, and in today's video, we're doing the Say Yes Challenge. Luke, what's your first question? Can we go buy a Lamborghini? Uh, just one second, I'll be right back. Oh, Mom, where are you going? You can't say no. I know I can't say no, but you never told me anything about writing it. <gasps> Can you quickly get me a bookmark? <laughs> What's wrong? After all these years, you can't remember my name? What are you talking about? I just asked for a bookmark. My name's not Mark. It's Sam. <gasps> okay, class, now I want you guys to discuss your answer with the person beside you. So, uh, wh what'd you get? Do you even know how to do this question? No. Me neither. Dad, I've decided I'm getting married. That's great. Do you have a girl in mind? Yes, Grandma. She always tells me she loves me, she's really good at cooking, and she's the best storyteller. <laughs> That's really nice of her, but there's just a small problem. What is it? She's my mother. You can't marry my mother. Why not? You married mine. <laughs> so as you guys know, I mean, <laughs> lots of you guys... Boys, zip it while I'm talking. I'm not going to ask you again. So, as I was saying, I... That's it. Jesse, move to that seat over there. Miss, if I sit beside my best friend, I'll whisper to him. But if you move me across the class, I'll shout at him. It's your choice. Wake up, filthy. You're gonna break it! Get off the couch! It's for sitting on, not standing on! Oh, I'm hungry. Mom, when are you going grocery shopping next? We're all out of food. Uh, excuse me. Don't talk to me in that tone. And what are you talking about? We have plenty of food. Can we go watch a movie? No, I'm busy right now. Get out of my room! Ah! Grounded for a month, that means no more electronics. What? Why? Your brother told me what happened to the wall. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong with it. Then send me a picture of the wall beside your TV right now. Okay. Let me quickly download this photo editing app by pressing the button on my profile. Then I'm going to use the eraser tool to get rid of the damage on the wall. There we go. Now let's send that to mom. And one more thing. Connor Fiddlesticks Repairs, how can I help you? Hi, I just need a small area on my wall repaired. All right, sir, so my first question for you is can you just tell me a little bit about your background? Yeah, of course. So um, my background is actually of Mount Everest. That's it, I'm breaking up with you. You're way too addicted to gambling. What? Eh, you know what, it doesn't matter. I bet I can win you back. Honey, did you eat the pizza that I was saving in the fridge? No, I ate it in the living room. Ah, shoot. We're out of paper towel. <laughs> this Lego is way too hard! <laughs> Honey, can you go help him out, please? Yeah. Hey Luke, it's time to come in for dinner now. <laughs> a 
Okay, Mom, I'll be in in a couple seconds. <laughs> Honey, what do you want out for supper today? Can you cook some chicken and rice? Um, it looks like we're out of rice. Uh, what about spaghetti and hamburger? We don't have spaghetti either. We don't have much. I gotta go grocery shopping tomorrow. Ah, uh, what do we eat? What do we eat? What do we eat? Oh, right here it says on Tuesdays that kids eat for free at Pizza Hut. Oh, really? Let's go there. Hey, Luke! Get ready! We're going to Pizza Hut, baby! I gotta go, guys. I'm going to Pizza Hut! Hi, my name is Jack and I'm going to be your waiter today. Are you guys ready to order? Yes, I'd like to get a large pineapple pizza, please. But mom, I don't like pineapples. I know, honey. You can get something on the kids menu. Oh, and I forgot to mention, on Tuesdays, which is today, kids under the age of 10 eat free. Well, good thing you're 9, right, Luke? I'm not 9. I'm 12. <gasps> no, 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 no. They're off! They're off! You guys want me to leave them off for now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hey, turn it back on! I'm trying to read my book! Hey honey, I'm going to the gym. Do you want to come? Why? Do you think I'm fat? What? No, I didn't mean to... Never mind. Y you don't have to go. Why? Do you think I'm lazy? No, it's okay. Just calm down. Why? Do you think I'm crazy? No, that's not what I meant to say. Oh, so now I'm a liar? Ah! Mom, I'm really tired. I'm just gonna go have like a 15 minute nap. Jeez, you need to start going to bed earlier. Yeah, whatever. Time is it? Oh no, I didn't do my homework. Good morning guys, I didn't finish my homework last night. What? Do you even know what time it is? Now sit down, dinner's almost ready. Daddy, 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 I got 100% in school today. That's amazing son, I'm so proud of you. Why don't you come into the living room and tell me about it? Just a few more. Just a few more. Just take the whole bag! Mommy, can I get these shoes for school? I want you to try them on to make sure they fit first. Okay. Okay, can I get them down? How do they feel? Good, can I get them down? Let me see where your toes are. Go for a walk to make sure you like them. Okay, can I get them now, please? How much are they? They're $110. What? I'm only buying you shoes if they're on sale. Do you want to go to a movie with me and Jesse in a bit? You mean Jesse and I? Me and Jesse are going to a movie and we're wondering if you want to come. Yes, I know. But you said me and Jesse when the correct pronunciation is Jesse and I. Whatever. Do you want to come or not? I'll have to think about it. Okay, well while you're thinking about that, I have a quick story for you. So, yesterday on the news, I seen this guy. You saw him? Yeah, I seen him on the news. No, you saw him on the news. Whatever. I saw this guy on the news that said the movie we're going to. Who? The guy on the news! No, I know, but you said you saw this guy on the news that said, when it's actually you saw this guy on the news who said. Forget I even called. Hello? Hey, where are you? I'm at home. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. Turn on the blender. <sighs> Fine. Awesome, thank you. I'll be home in a bit. Hello? Hey, honey, where are you? I'm at home, just like yesterday. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <sighs> Can I get you to go turn on the blender again, please? Oh. Thank you. I'm just about done grocery shopping. I'm home. Hey Luke, where's your father? I'm not sure, but I took the blender with him. <gasps> oh, what am I forgetting? Ketchup. No. Mom, 
out of ketchup. Really? Let me see. Hey mom, can you help me with my homework please? I can't right now, I'm doing the dishes. Just pause it. <laughs> mom, you told me we would be quick, are you almost done? Yes, I just have to grab one more thing in the dairy department, then we can leave. Okay, I'm gonna go wait on the chair by the exit. Ah, what's taking her so long? There you are! Why are you in the same spot? <laughs> hey Luke, do you remember Margaret? The last time I saw you, you were just a little wee baby. <laughs> Mom, where's all my white socks? They should be where they usually are. Well, they're not here. Well, what makes you think I know where they are? Because you did the laundry, and now they're not here. You know what? If you're gonna talk to me like that, you're doing your laundry from now on. <sighs> Son, are you almost ready to leave? Yeah, in a couple seconds, I just need to find some... Wait a second. Where'd you get those socks? Oh, these? I don't know. Your mother just put them in my drawer. Jenna Ortega? Hello. What are you doing on Omegle? I'm bored and I don't have much to do, but I also just drank an intense amount of water and I'm, I know I'm gonna have to pee. I don't know if that's too much information, but... Okay. That's why I was like, okay, well now might be a good time before I have to do that. Okay, yeah, makes sense, yeah. I just have one quick question for you. What's your favorite movie that you've made? What's the favorite movie? What's my favorite movie that I made? Yeah. <sighs> That's hard. <laughs> How come? I never, I, I don't watch my stuff, so I'm, that's the only thing. I could base it off of maybe, um, experience shooting or... Yeah, no, I understand. It's fine. I, um, I create, like, TikToks and YouTube videos, and it's fine when I'm the only one watching them, but if my parent or, like, a friend is watching it and I'm, a, I'm in the same room as them, I tell them to, like, shut it off or I'm leaving the room. I just, I can't do it. This is so awkward. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go. Okay, bye. It was nice to meet you. I think she likes me. Ready to have a baby? I am Doc. We actually have this new system that transfers some of the pain to the father if you're interested in that. I mean, that sounds good with me. What do you think, honey? Sure, whatever. Let's just get this over with. All right, we'll start off easy by transferring 10% of the pain. Huh, I like this system. I can't feel anything. Uh, that's a little better. All right, then let's bump it up to 30%. Huh, still nothing. Uh, that's getting way better. Oh, sorry about that. Just one second. Hello? Hey man, it's Carl. Oh, hey. I just ate something that really upset my stomach. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Turn it up to 70. Oh, no, it hurts even more. You better get that checked out before it gets any wo Doc, turn it up to 100%. Listen. Ah! Hey son, what are you doing home from school so early? I was the only one to answer the question right in class. My son's a genius. What was the question? Trash can on the teacher's head. Wake up, Bye. Mom, I just called the cops on you. What? Why would you do that? I found your driver's license, and you're not my mom. Your name is Shelly. Sweetie, mom is what you call me, but Shelly is my real name. Officer here? I just got a call for a child kidnapping? Yeah, she's right here. Arrest her. Hello, officer. He's actually my child. He's just freaking out because he found my driver's license. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. That's right. You get her, officer. No, I'm talking to you for making a false report. Wake up, Sophie. <laughs> Mommy! My stomach hurts! It's because you're always on that iPod. What do you even do on that thing anyway? <laughs> I'm building my own kingdom on King of Avalon, but Mom, I'm serious. I don't think I could go to school. Well, if you stay home, no electronics, but if you go to school, you could take your iPod. Mom, that's not fair! My dragon needs me to raise him. It's one or the other. Uh, fine. I'm in too much pain to go to school. Okay, hand over your iPod. Ha! Huh. 
I knew you'd try the iPad, so I brought the router with me. What's so good about that King of Avalon game that you want to play so bad anyway? Each player gets their own dragon that they can raise and customize with special abilities to help gather resources to build your city, which you can attack and defend other players with. Wow, that actually sounds like a really fun game. How do I get it? You can get it by clicking the button on Luke's TikTok profile. All right, class, I'm going to do attendance now. Okay, Luke, come on. You can do this. All you have to do is say here. Don't yell it. Don't whisper. Just talk normally and say here. Charlie, here. Addison, hey y'all. Bryce? Yep. Noah? I'm here. Luke? Here! That's the ugliest shirt I've ever seen. Yeah, how could you even come to school wearing that? <laughs> Merry Christmas, little cousin. For me? <laughs> it's my limited edition stitch hoodie that's only available for the next 10 days. Thank you so much, I love this! I wonder what that kid's gonna be wearing today. <laughs> that hoodie is so sick, where did you get it? You can get it from the button on Luke's TikTok profile. Hello? Hey man, are you busy right now? Uh, kind of. Why? Well, I have something really important to tell you. What are you doing? I'm watching a live stream. Do you mind calling me back when it's over? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Who made this mark on the wall? That was Luke, it wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. What are you talking about? Luke, tell me the truth. I am telling the truth. Why would you blame me for ruining a wall in Jimmy's bedroom when I never go in there? It's true, Mom. He hasn't been in my room today. What? So you're saying you did it? No, Luke still did it. That's what I thought. You ready for us now? All right, we'll be right down. Okay, class, we're gonna line up at the door now. Whoa, whoa, Luke, I don't want everyone to get up at the same time, so can everyone wearing a hoodie please get in line? Um, everyone wearing the color yellow. Everyone wearing the color green. Does this count? Eh, that's more blue. Everyone wearing the color red. Miss? What, Luke? Does underwear count? No! Before I show you guys around the Govi Light Museum, there's only one rule. Are you listening? Mm-hmm. Do not touch anything. We have that rule just to avoid people from knocking things over, okay? Okay. The first item we're going to be looking at is by far my favorite. It's called the Gofi Portable Lamp. And there's even a button on the bottom that if you press, it changes the color. Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? But that's not all. If you don't want to leave it plugged in, you can unplug it and bring it with you anywhere since it's fully portable. Anywhere? And if you don't want to pick it up, you can do everything I just showed you and more on the app or with Google and Alexa. Yes, I have Google. Alright, I'm just going to set this down and let's move on to the next item. this. I'm Watt. What's your name? Watt's my name. Yes, what's your name? My name is John Watt. John Watt? Yes, are you Andy? No, I'm not. Can you tell me your name then? Will not. Why not? My name is not. Not what? Not what? Not. <sighs> Hello, sir. Are you interested in buying a vehicle? No, I came here to make some new friends. Hey, where are you right now? I'm at the airport. Oh, are you going on a trip? No, I came here to go grocery shopping. <sighs> oh, it's dark outside. No, really? I thought it was the middle of the day. Dad, what does this say? Um, empty? Now what does it say? Empty. 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 Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice talking to you. <laughs> yeah. And before I let you go, I'm going to give the phone to Luke. Mm hmm. He would love to talk to you. Okay. Yeah. It was nice talking to you. Okay. Bye. Love you. Take the phone.
class, I'm just stepping out to use the bathroom, but remember, you guys are writing a test, so please be quiet, okay? Okay! I'll only be a couple seconds. All right, class, I'll be right back. Remember, you guys are writing a test, so do not make a single noise. What's the answer to number one? Mom, I love you. Aw, I love you too, honey. Mom, have I ever told you that I love you? <sighs> yes, what do you want? Honey, what did you get on your test? I got 79%. Luke, what'd you get on your exam? I got 51%. Mom, why did you never tell me that I was adopted? What are you talking about? You're not adopted. Well, today in class, we did a DNA test and I matched with some random people that I've never even met before. What? No, that's not right. Honey, you tell him. Tell him what? He's not our biological son. What? What do you mean? Remember our first few nights in the hospital when our baby wouldn't stop crying? Yeah, and I told you to change him. Yeah, and I did. Listen. <gasps> Hello. I guess it's time for me to go. Hi, how are you? Do you want something to drink? Um, sure, why not? <laughs> hey Luke, I'm going to the store. Do you want to come with me? No, I'm watching Netflix right now. Are you sure you don't want to go for a drive with your mother? Yeah, a new season of a show I really like just came out. Okay, I guess I'll go by myself. You know, when you move out, We'll never be able to do this again. I know, Mom. I'll go next time. I carry you for nine months and you can't even come with me for 30 minutes? Remember this? What about this one? Or this one? Okay, enough. I'll go. Honey, why are you cooking more pancakes? We just finished eating them. I'm making them for the dogs. Why are you making them for the dogs? Because they don't know how to. For Christmas, grandson. I want Fortnite outfits. D did you say Fortnite? Yes, it's a super fun battle royale game. Oh, I know what it is. It's a 2v2. We got. Oh, he's on me. He's on me. He's on me. Come on. Let's go. Come on. No, come on. Where's the last guy? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's right here. He's right here. He's on me. He's on me. Oh, no. Yeah, let's go. First victory royale. <laughs> Grandpa, why are you crying? Oh, you don't worry about me. I just heard that Fortnite Chapter 3 is coming out, and I just can't wait to see what Fortnite has planned next. Here, this is for you, grandson. Thank you so much, Grandma. Hey, son. Yeah? Wait a second. Who gave you that money? Grandma did. Really? Well, um, uh, d d d do you want to play a game? What kind of game? I'm going to ask you a question, and if you get it wrong, then you give me that $100. Then you're going to ask me a question, and if I get it wrong, I give you $100. Another hundred dollars? Okay. What's the distance between the moon and the earth? Hey Siri, what's the distance between the moon and the earth? The moon is approximately 384,400 kilometers away from the earth. That's not fair! You cheated! You didn't make any rules about Siri. Okay, well from now on, you can't use Siri or anything else. Okay, but now it's my turn. What's 523,621 divided by 322? Um, uh... I don't know. Give me my money. Wake up, filthy. Luke, it's time to go to bed. But it's only 7 p.m. I know, but school's starting up next week and you need to get back onto a schedule, so give me your phone. Can I just stay up for one more hour? Give me your phone, now. Thank you. Good night. Sorry, honey, I forgot to give you a hug. Ah, oh, who f Wait, what if they think it's me because I smelt it first? Just play it cool, Luke. Yeah, pretend like you never smelt anything. Ah, oh, who 
sitting in front of me. Luke, did you fart? Quit hitting the walls in there! It's time for dinner! We're having pizza! We're having pizza? Hello? Wrong number! Hello? Okay, so that's one with cheese and one with pepperoni. You can pick it up in 20 minutes. Who was that? I don't know, but I took his order, so now we can sleep. <gasps> what size is your TV? Um, I don't know. New? <laughs> That's not how you say it. Then how do you say it? It's I don't knowing. Guys, it's not I don't knew or I don't knowing. Then what is it? I don't know. You flippin' idiot. If you don't know, then shut up. Are you okay, Luke? I think I broke my leg. Hold on, I'll call the nurse. Hello? Hey, we need you in the gym ASAP. A student just broke his leg. Just a broken leg? Okay, I'll be right there. Here, put some ice on it. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. I'm going to get groceries and I want you to have the house clean by the time I get back, okay? Okay. So that means sweeping the floor, doing the dusting, and vacuuming the whole house. Yeah, whatever. I'll get it done. Okay, I'll see you in about two hours. I was just going to the bathroom. Oh, okay. The house looks nice and clean. Mom, look what I got on my report card. Oh, you got one A minus and the rest A pluses. I thought I raised you better. You should have studied harder. Look what I got on my report card. Who are you? Your son? Oh yeah. What'd you get? I got all A pluses. Oh, cool. Mommy, look what I got on my report card. Good job, honey. I'm so proud of you. You passed one class. Let's go for dinner to celebrate. Luke, it's time to get up for school. Huh? Addison Ray swallowed a pickle and flew to the moon with Iron Man. What? Nemo grew some legs and went on a date with Garfield. Who's Garfield? Your cat. She's actually waiting on the phone to talk to you. Here. Hello? This is a shoe. It's time to get up for school. Oh! Did you do your chores? No, not yet. I'll do them after I finish this game. That's it. Give me your controller right now. I'm taking this for a month. Now go do your chores before I take something else away. Gerald, did you do your chores yet? My name's Connor. I know I haven't yet. Can I do them after I finish this show? Oh yeah, whatever. As long as they're done by the end of the day. Sweetie, did you do your chores yet? No, I'm too busy playing a game on my phone. You know what, my little angel? It's okay. I'll go do them myself because I don't want you to hurt yourself before your baseball game in four months. Last time. <gasps> it's Luke Davidson. He just hit 10 million followers today. 10 million? Yeah. <sighs> it was just a dream. Good morning, Luke. I just wanted to congratulate you on 10 million followers. Huh? <gasps> today. Are you serious? A dream inside of a dream? Good morning, Luke. <gasps> What? Are you coming to congratulate me on 10 million followers? No. Oh, 
So it was just a dream. I was coming to congratulate you on 10.1 million! What?! All right. Okay, you actually have 11 fingers, so... 11 fingers. Okay, wait, let me count. Why would I say count? I have five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I don't know why I counted. One, One two, two... Skip these three. Three. Four, ah! Five. Come on, man. She just went from one, two, skip these three, four, five, like... Six, seven, You're obviously gonna eight, get 11 now. Nine, ten, ten eleven. eleven. Oh, mind blow! Mom, can you help me with my homework? Ah, oh, shoot. I'm sorry, honey, but I'm going out for girls night. I'm sure your father will help you. Yes, yeah, son. What do you need help with? Okay, good luck, you two. I'll see you later. So this question is... Is, uh, is what? I don't have all night here. It, it's asking how to solve this. <sighs> That's easy. Give me the pencil. You just gotta carry the A, plus by the B square, do some takeaways, and there's your answer. But that's not how the teacher wants us to do it. What do you mean it's not the answer? It's math. Math is math. That's the answer. Yeah, but you won't get the marks because he didn't show you a word. You know what? Forget it. This new math makes no sense. You're gonna have to wait till your mother gets home. You see that old lady right there? Do you want to go steal her purse? No! Why would you even say something like that? Oh, my mom's calling. Hello? Hi, honey. You had me worried. I've called you like five times now. Where are you? Tell her you're with me. Uh, I'm with Jesse. Oh, you were Jesse? Why didn't you tell me? Can I talk to him? Sure. Hello, Mrs. Davidson. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. I'll drop off Luke in a few minutes. I know it's getting late. Oh. Don't worry about it. I don't mind him being out late if it's with you. You're a good kid. Aw, thanks, Mrs. Davidson. Well, it was nice talking to you. You too. Bye. Jeez. What a good kid. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go rob that store that the lady just walked into. Honey, I have to ask you something really important. Who do you love more, me or your father? I love you both equally. Okay, well, if I went to Italy and your father went to Japan, where would you go? Mm, Japan. See? I knew it. You love your dad more than me. No, I just always wanted to go to Japan. Oh, okay. Well, if I went to Japan and your father went to Italy, where would you go? I'd go to Italy. See? You do love your dad more than me. No, it's just I would go to Italy because I would have already been to Japan. So who did you say you liked again? I'm in love with Molly. Hey. What's up? Are you good at math? Yeah, I'd say so. Can you show me how to solve question five? Question five? Uh, uh, uh yeah, uh, yeah, I, I just gotta go to the bathroom first. I'll be right back. Good thing I have photo math. Let me just take a picture of the question and boom, it gives me the answer and how to solve it. If you want to get the app too, just press the button on Luke's TikTok profile. Sorry about that. So first you would do the brackets. So you do one plus two and that equals three. Then you do six divided by two and that would also equal three and it would leave you with three times three and that equals nine. Thank you so much. You're so smart. Do you want to go out sometime? <gasps> yes! Thank you, photo math. Son, I have the wrong tool. Can you go to the garage and get the stork beak pliers, please? Okay. What does it look like? It just looks similar to regular pliers. It should be in a red container. Which red container? Forget it. You're no help. I'll get it myself. Luke, I have a riddle for you. What has to be broken before you can use it? What has to be broken before you use it? A glow stick. Nope. Yes. Before you use a glow stick, you have to break it or else it won't work. That is true, but that's not the answer I'm looking for. Your heart. Uh... Before you can use your heart, it has to be broken by someone first. Nope, that's still not it. Uh, I don't know, what is it? The answer is an egg. Oh my gosh, guys, we finally almost complete the level. Luke, shut off your game, it's time for supper. Okay, just one second, I'll be right up. All right. Come on guys, I have to go for supper. Let's beat this as fast as possible. Luke, come up for supper! I have to go for supper. No, bro, you can't leave now. We need three people to beat this or else we'll have to restart another day. We're literally two minutes away from beating it. I'm sorry, guys. My mom's called me up twice now. I better go before she grounds me. What are we having for supper? We're having KD and wieners. It'll be ready in about five minutes. You can just sit down for now. This is a robbery. Give me everything you've got. I can't. 
What? I can't. Why can't you? Because. Because what? Because she was my everything. She just left me and now I got nothing. Jeez, man. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I hope, I hope you feel better. <laughs> Are you guys ready to order yet? Yes, I'll get the Skrlaba Jazeva de Balaba de Pau. Okay, and that comes with your choice of a side of either replenished French Nick fries, my personal favorite, or Salido Crissante. Which one would you like? Um, I'll get the first one, please. Okay, good choice. And what can I get for you, sir? I'm gonna get the Slabobo the Bobo beef. All right, and that comes with a side of linguine red pepper hot spiced garlic shrimp. Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. Perfect. And what unique thing on the menu would you like to try, young lad? Hmm, can I get... <gasps> Chicken nuggets! Now we're gonna go over some questions related to the book we just read. So the first question- So who do you like again? I have a big crush on Molly. Can anyone tell me why the teacher in the book was wearing sunglasses to school? Because she had bright students. <laughs> because she had bright students! <laughs> oh, Jesse, you're quite the kid. Bing bong! Oh, I guess that's all the time we have for today's class. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We should go out sometime. You're so funny. Here's my number. Hey, hey, Luke! I can't figure out the answer to this question. Which one? Number seven. What's the hardest natural substance on Earth? Oh, so out of all the natural substances on Earth, which one's the hardest? I don't know what a natural substance is, though. Uh, do you play Minecraft? Yeah. What's the hardest natural substance in the game? Uh, diamonds? Maybe. I don't know. Hey, are you that guy that everyone's been talking about who can only hear every second word? What? Oh, um... R, R, U, U, the, the, guy, guy, that, that, can, can, only, only, hear, hear, every, every, second, second, word, word. Every second word, 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 every second word. Keep this between the two of us, but yesterday. Mom put a hundred dollars on the counter, and I took it without her knowing. <sighs> That's not even that bad. A couple weeks ago, I stuck out to a party while mom and dad thought I was sleeping. You did what? Oh, hi Eric. Did you hear what we were talking about? I heard the whole thing. <sighs> Please don't tell mom. You're gonna have to give me something. Fine. I'll give you five dollars. That's not enough. <sighs> Ten. Make it twenty. Deal. We'll give you twenty. Let's just split it $10 each. Actually, I also want that hoodie. No, this is brand new. Mom? Fine, take it. Thank you. Mom, you won't believe what Luke and Tommy did. I'm just going to quickly go tell my mom that we're leaving. Can you start the car? Yup. Where are you guys going? Can I come? No, you can't. Now go play with your dolls or something. <laughs> yeah, get lost, loser. Say sorry to my brother. What? But, but you just... Fine, I'm sorry. Now give me my keys and leave my house. Seriously? Now! <sighs> Let me play my favorite game. Luke, can you get off your phone and do the dishes, please? <sighs> okay. Here we go. And I just washed your clothes. Can you fold them, please? 
Hey, is that everything? Just one more thing. I want you to take out the trash, but what's that game you're playing on your phone? It looks kind of fun. <sighs> it's a game where you recruit epic heroes and learn their strengths and weaknesses. Then you can unlock their unique skills to create the best party formation to explore dungeons with and earn legendary gear. Then once you think you're powerful enough, you can take on boss battles. Oh, and how do I get it? You can get it by pressing the button on Luke's TikTok profile. Finally, I have some time before the bus gets here so I can play Order of Origin for a bit. Mom, I just missed the bus! That's it! I'm taking away your phone for a month and you're gonna have to walk to school today! WHAT?! Hi boys! Unfortunately, I just ran out of candy. Sorry about that. Oh come on! You are blind down! Well actually, I got home from my job a couple hours ago, but okay. Technically, I was never selling any candy because it was free, but whatever. And now there's a random unicorn. You know what? It's time for bed. Uh, excuse me. Where's my table? Hi, miss. Uh, what's the name on the reservation? I don't need a reservation. I know the owner. I'm sorry, but we can't seat you unless you have a reservation. Are you serious? You're the worst waiter I've ever met. Just let me in. I'm sorry, but I can't. You either have to wait two hours or make a reservation for another night. You know what? You're gonna regret this. I'm gonna show you that I know the owner. Hello? Hi, sweetie. I need you to call the owner right now, please. Okay. Hello? I just want to remind everyone to make sure you read the questions right. Hey Luke? Huh? What are you doing? I'm doing my favorite super villain's dance. Uh huh. <laughs> I just love his laugh. <laughs> now what are you doing? I'm watching my favorite movie, The Joker. Now what are you doing? I'm playing this super fun zombie apocalypse game called State of Survival. Oh, I thought you were going to say something about the Joker. That's why I'm playing it. Huh? They're having a crossover with the Joker and I get to play as him. Oh no! The zombies are attacking my base! Don't ask me any more questions. Find out for yourself by pressing the button on Luke's TikTok profile. Remember when we were younger and we used to always finish each other's sentences? Yeah, those were the good old days. Why do you ask? Well... I'm wondering if we could do that again. Kaden, how old is your father? He's 39 years old, miss. And Luke, how old is your father? He's the same age as me. That makes no sense. What are you talking about? He became a father when I was born. <gasps> hey Luke, how's it going? Just wanted to let you know your mother and I are home now. Okay. Wait, did you guys eat yet? Yeah, we ate. Why? Because I texted mom to get me something. Do you know if she got it? Oh, let me ask. Hey, honey? Yes? Luke said he asked you to get him something to eat. Did you? I forgot. Oh, and you know what's crazy? You told me, and I also forgot. I mean, I guess people forget sometimes, right? Yeah, like our son. Huh? You definitely understand, because yesterday when we asked you to clean your room and do the dishes, you said you forgot. No, but, but I actually did forget. Well, don't worry about it then, because next time we will definitely try not to forget your food. Ah, this is so annoying. What's with all the yelling in here? I'm trying to find a song that's been stuck in my head all day, and I searched up literally everything, but I can't find it. How does the song go? It goes like this. Yeah, 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 I know that one. You have? Do you know the name or who, who sings it? Unfortunately, I don't. What'd you search up? Here's what I searched. Thank you. 
What are you doing on there? I've just been binge watching this new Netflix series. How are you doing that? Um, with Wi-Fi? What are you talking about? The Wi-Fi's been down the last few hours. Wait, so this whole time, I've been using my... Wake up, filthy. <sighs> Sorry guys, it looks like we won't be watching a movie today. I can't get it to load. Miss, can I try something? Yeah, go ahead. It's been Time to get ready for school. I know, I just need like 10 more minutes. Hey grandma, do you have something that I could drink with this? Like juice or something? Let me see. You're in luck. Thank you. <gasps> I just had the weirdest dream. What was it about? I was playing Fortnite, but it was different. There were biomes, like a snow area, a forest, and even a castle. <laughs> you know, that would be enough to bring me out of video game retirement. <laughs> um, it wasn't a dream, Grandpa. You were watching me play, and then you fell asleep. What? You're telling me that was the actual game? Yeah, the new Fortnite season just came out, and they added biomes. I'm gonna go hop on my computer. Send me an invite. Hey, officer. My wife is missing. She went out yesterday, and she never came home. Okay, stay calm, sir. What's her height? <sighs> um, maybe like 5'5"? Five, five? No. 5'7"? Five, 5'6? I'm not too sure. She's shorter than me. Okay, what's her weight? I have no clue. Um, she's not really slim, but she's not really big. What about her eye color? I think they're green. Wait, no, brown. Actually, I don't know. I, re I never really looked that close. What color's her hair? Uh, I'm not too sure. She just went to a new hairdresser, so it changed. Okay, what was she wearing when you last saw her? She was wearing a blue dress. Or were those jeans? Or maybe she was wearing shorts. I don't know. Did she take a vehicle when she left? Yes, she took my vehicle. And would you happen to know the brand? Yes, it's a 2022 Black Sport Appearance Ford F-150 Lariat 5 liter V8 engine with 400 horsepower and 400 torque stock. But I installed a 3 liter Whipple supercharger so now it has 775 horsepower and 685 torque. It has the max trailer tow package so it has a big 136 liter gas tank, black leather seats, power deployable running boards, twin moonroof, FX4 off-road package with skid plates, Bang & Olufsen Unleashed 18 speakers sound system, 360 cameras, blue cruise so it could drive itself, power tailgate, 2000 watt generator built in the bed, 3.73 electric lock rear axle, upgraded all-terrain tires, 20 inch 5 spoke, dark alloy wheels, and it also has a Borla attack exhaust with black chrome tips, and unfortunately one of them has a dent in it from a rock. Don't worry sir, we'll find your vehicle. <laughs> Thank you. Hi Susan, how are you? Oh I'm good, how are you? Come on in. <gasps> I think my mom's here. Quick, go and hide so you don't have to go home. It's really cold outside today, isn't it? Tell me about it. My hands almost fell off when I was walking to the car. Oh, hey, Neb. How's it going? Good. That's good. How did Luke treat you today? Oh, he just wouldn't stop yelling. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> She'll never find me in here. Well, we should probably get going because I have ham in the oven. Where is Luke, anyway? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Luke, where are you? <laughs> if you come out now, I'll buy you Pokemon cards. <gasps> Really? No. I have a feeling that you are cheating on the test. What? Prove it. Well, the first question was who was the first president of the United States? The girl beside you put George Washington, and so did you. So? Everyone knows he was the first president. Just wait a minute. The next question was who freed the slaves? 
The girl beside you put Abraham Lincoln, and so did you. Well, I read the textbook last night, and I remembered that. The next question was, who is the president during the Louisiana Purchase? She put I don't know, and you put me neither. Do! Ah! Mom, can we go to the doctors? Do you need to get something checked out? No! I want to go watch TV in the waiting room. Happy Mother's Day. That's for me? No! It's for Dad. Mom, where's your laptop? Why? What do you mean, why? Well, did you want to use it? No! I wanted to throw it out the window! You know what to get. Oh, and also get some milk. Affirmative. I got them. Perfect. Thank you. There we go. Now pour us a glass of milk. Now put the exact same amount in the other one. Of course. Who do you think I am? Um, just a little bit more. This one? Yep. What's up, bro? Sorry I'm late. Oh, no worries. Did you get stuck in traffic? No, I just hit the snooze on my alarm. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just get started then. Yes, please, because my friend's waiting for me in his car. Could you uh, start off by telling me a little bit about yourself? Um, a bit about myself. Oh, I just got my first dub in Fortnite last night with the boys. Oh? Yeah. They kind of carried me, but whatever. All right, uh, let's move on to the next question. Um, why are you the best person for this job? Well, I'm not, but I really want it. Okay, and why do you want this job? Because I need money? Do you have any goals with this job? Um, make enough money to buy a car so my friend doesn't have to drive me around everywhere? All right, and lastly, how did you hear about this job? What kind of question is that? I saw the sign on the door that says, now hiring. Okay, that's everything. Thank you for your time. Um, if you got the job, I'll give you a call. All right, sounds good. Oh, um, just make sure you call past 4 p.m. because if not, I'll probably still be sleeping. Hello? Hey man, are you busy today? Um, hold on, let me check my calendar. Uh, yeah, I do have a really busy day today. Why did you ask? I was just wondering if you wanted to go golfing with me. Oh yeah, I'd love to, it's just I, I don't have any time today. Maybe next time. No worries, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, bye. Whew. I'm just going to go upstairs to use your bathroom. I'll be right back. What's wrong? I just lost $60 on the ground and I can't find it. <sighs> you know what? Here's a $20 bill. Really? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hello? Guess what? I just gave $20 to a kid who was crying. Aww, that's so nice of you. Yeah, and I also found $60 on the ground. Alright, are you ready to leave? Yep. Oh, actually, wait. I should get my sunglasses. It's supposed to be really sunny out today. I'll be right back. Okay, make it quick. Where the heck could they be? What does it say? We
You should glow sometime. You're so funny. Here's my number. Hey, hey, Luke! <gasps> Go to the principal's office right now! <laughs> what brings you here today? I punched my friend in the face. Why would you do that? <sighs> You'll think it sounds dumb if I tell you. No, just tell me. <sighs> Fine. So basically, I said a joke to my friend, then he yelled it out and the whole class started laughing. So, you punched him? No, I punched him because the girl that I like thought the joke was funny and gave him her number. Oh, so you got jealous. What? No. Yeah, I guess. Well, I still have to give you a suspension. So get out! <sighs> hey. Oh, uh, hey, well, what are you doing here? I just heard everything you said. Oh, uh, uh... Do you want to go on a date? Yes! Mom, I'm gonna start the movie. Are you ready? Just wait, I'm getting a drink. Okay, are you ready now? Actually, just wait. I better go to the washroom first. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. This movie is based on a true story about Alfred Pickleman as a young boy who... Mom. What? You know I can read, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, I know that actor. He's from the movie with, um, ah, what's your name? I don't know, Mom. That's gonna bug me. What are you doing? Sorry, I was just getting a snack. What did I miss? Here, I'll just go back. No, 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 just tell me. The guy basically just drove back to his house after getting the phone call. Oh my gosh. I wonder if someone's gonna be waiting there for him. I was not expecting that. Were you? Come on! Yeah! Ow! Why does my shoulder hurt so much? Oh, I know, let me just switch it up. What does it mean when my shoulder hurts? What? No, 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 no. This can't be true. What if I search, what does it mean when you lift your arm and your shoulder hurts? Answer. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, please. What if I try another website? <laughs> Mommy, come here. What's the matter? What do you want? I, I, I need to go to the hospital right now. Okay, go get in the car. So, what brings you in today, young man? My shoulder really hurts when I lift up my arm. Hmm, by any chance do you lift weights? Of course, can't you see how swole I am? Of course I can. Well, it sounds to me like you just have a pulled muscle. Phew, ouch. Ah! Oh! Ah! Is everything okay? I had a really scary dream, and now my stomach hurts. What was it about? It was about me eating a really large marshmallow. A large marshmallow? <gasps> Luke, where's your pillow? Hey mom, where are you? Oh hey sweetie, I'm just sitting here at home. Oh, you're at home? What are you doing there? Um, I've just been watching some TV the last couple hours since I got home from work, and now I'm about to go and cook some dinner. What are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, well I've just been waiting at school for the last three hours for you to pick me up. Wake up, filthy. This 90-year-old woman lives out her birthday dream thanks to a biker gang. This is Barbara Morris, an elderly woman that lives in a nursing home in Manchester, England. Several years ago, Barbara told her children that if she lived to 90 years old, she had a birthday wish. To take a ride on a motorcycle like she did when she was younger. Barbara had figured that her children had forgot about her biker dreams. So she was stunned that on her 90th birthday, her son surprised her with a local biker gang and a Harley Davidson for her to ride. Barbara hopped on the back of the bike and rode with the 13 other bikers nearly seven miles to a nearby pub. Her children describe her as having a daredevil spirit and nerves of steel. But for Barbara, she said she was just happy to feel wind blowing on her face. Three tricks Walmart doesn't want you to know. Have you ever been at the store and someone asks you if you want to try a free sample or a new product? Well, a scientist said when you take the free sample, it makes your brain think it's dinner time making you want to buy it. They sometimes put items on sale to make you think like you're getting a better deal. When in reality, they put the sale price as what they would normally sell it for as retail. You may think they just throw products on the shelves randomly, but they actually do it strategically. The top shelf has smaller brands, regional brands, and gourmet brands. They put them there to give tone and texture to the shelf, to help the store stand out from its competitors. The two shelves below are where they put the top selling brand, because it's at the customer's eye level giving them a higher chance of buying it. Below that are the kids shelves, where they usually place child appealing items making the kids want to ask their parents if they could buy it. And finally on the very bottom they have the local brands and bulk items. This teacher promised her students a treat if she made an impossible shot. This third grade teacher, Kathleen Fitzpatrick, or as her students at Holy Trinity School in Washington DC call her, 
Miss Fitz. On one Friday afternoon during recess, Miss Fitz was playing basketball with her students, and she decided to make them a bet. If she can make a shot, she'll bring in hot chocolate for the whole class on Monday. Miss Fitz then takes a few dribbles as her students cheer her on. She then launches up a Hail Mary shot, and boom, the kids go nuts. It turns out Miss Fitz actually played college basketball, and once hit a three-point buzzer beater to win the game. But I bet this shot for hot cocoa felt even better. Four people who celebrated too early. In this volleyball game, a player managed to save the ball with their foot, and the other team didn't expect it, so they started celebrating. After this goalie saved the ball from going in the net, he stopped paying attention to the ball and celebrated, but then this happened. During the Ironman, which is where you swim 2.5 miles, like 112 miles, and run a 26 mile marathon, this guy started jumping in the air to celebrate, then his ankle gave out on him right before the finish line. And finally, during this race, the person in 5th place started sprinting as fast as she could to pass everyone and win the race, while the person in the lead was already celebrating. 5 Celebrities Who Turned Down Famous Roles The role of Gamora in Guardians of the Galaxy was originally offered to Amanda Seyfried, but she turned it down because she thought the movie would be a flop. The role then went to Zoe Saldana. Steven Spielberg, the director of Jurassic Park, admitted that his first choice to play Dr. Alan Grant was Harrison Ford, but he passed on the opportunity for unknown reasons. Selena Gomez was originally supposed to play the lead role in Disney's Camp Rock, but she turned it down so it could go to her friend Demi Lovato. Rachel McAdams passed on the opportunity to play Andy Sachs in The Devil Wears Prada three times. The part eventually went to Anne Hathaway, who later admitted that she was ninth choice for the role. Drew Barrymore was originally casted to play Sidney Prescott in the Scream franchise, but had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts. She does still appear in the film, but the lead went to Neve Campbell. This three-year-old was kidnapped in the middle of the day. On the sidewalk, you can see a grandma walking with three grandchildren, when all of a sudden, a man covering himself with a blanket comes and kidnaps one of the toddlers. The poor old lady, who probably hasn't ran in years, had to make the tough decision to leave her two other grandchildren and run after the kidnapper. You can also see a man get out of his car and run after the kidnapper as well. Since it was the middle of the day, lots of people saw this happening and they cornered him into a gas station. Then he set the toddler down and walked away like nothing even happened. He was later found by the police sleeping in the doorway of a store and he was arrested. 5 Facts You Didn't Know About Animals Koala bear fingerprints are almost identical to human fingerprints, so much so that it's almost impossible to tell them apart. There are over 470 million dogs in the world. That's only one dog per 16 people. A group of owls is called a parliament. Frogs are able to freeze themselves without dying to endure cold temperatures, then they can thaw themselves out when it becomes warm again. And finally, sloths poop only once a a week, and it can take them up to one month to digest a single leaf. Three athletes who got caught cheating. This goalkeeper ran pretty far from his net to try and save a ball, but he missed it and he couldn't get back in the net in time to save the ball, so he decided to fake being unconscious. The medics ran out to check on him, but they realized he was faking it and the refs gave him a red card. During a professional golf tournament, the player named Patrick Reed was hitting from the sand. And in golf, when you're in the sand, you're not allowed to touch your club to the ground. But when he was taking a practice swing, he purposely hit the sand on his way back so he could get a better angle at the ball. This one isn't really cheating, but a football player bribed a ref by giving him $1 as a joke, but the NFL didn't find it very funny and they fined him $20,000. A robber pointed his gun at this man's kids and you won't believe what he did. In 2011, an armed robber went into the Bank of America. The first thing he did was point his gun at the workers and told all the customers to lie down on their bellies. Then he put bags on the counter and forced the workers to fill them with money. While they were doing that, the robber pointed his gun at two children. This made the kid's father mad so he came up with a plan to defeat him in his head. He waited for the robber to go outside then when he did, the father ran after him then started trying to tackle him onto the ground. But the robber pointed his gun to the father's face. The father then grabbed his neck and twisted his arm which caused him to fall to the ground. He then took the weapon and money and pointed it at the robber. It only took him a few seconds before he realized it was a plastic gun. And at the same time the police arrived. Since he saved the bank from losing a ton of money the news decided to interview him. And he introduced himself as Sergeant Eddie Peoples who had been in five major deployments. He said the gun didn't scare him, but when he pointed it at his kids, he knew he had to do something. Hello? Hey Luke, do you want to come to my birthday party today? There's going to be lots of girls, including Cindy. Did you say Cindy? Yep. When should I come? Well, the party starts at 3, so you can come a bit earlier if you want. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you then. Oh, one more thing. It's a pool party, so bring your bathing suit and a towel. Did you say pool party? Yeah, I gotta go get ready though, so I'll see you in a bit, okay?
So your teacher left me with the assignment that you guys have to work on today. It says you have to write an essay about yourself, and I'm gonna tape this on the wall if you guys wanna take a look. Why don't we finish as fast as possible so we can go play on the computers? <gasps> That's a good idea! Are you done? Yep! Mrs. Spatula, we're done! Well done, boys! Keep those somewhere safe so you can give them to Mr. Lutomo. Now you guys can play on the computers for the rest of the class. Yes! Let's go, baby! Good morning, class. You guys can continue working on the assignment from yesterday. Let's go hand them in. Yes, boys? We're done. You're done already? This isn't what you're supposed to do. What do you mean? You were supposed to write an essay about someone else. What? Now go redo it. What the heck? That's not what the instructions said. Hmm. Oh, look, he's going to go read them. Hi, Mr. Davidson. This is your son's principal speaking. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just phoning to um, let you know, because I think you should know, your son got into a fight. Oh, did he now? Can I speak to him? Sure. I'll hand over the phone right now. Hello? Am I on speakerphone? No. So, who was it? The kid that's been bullying you? Mm-hmm. Well, did you beat him up? Mm-hmm. Atta boy, that's what I like to hear. Don't ever let anyone disrespect you, okay? Yes, sir. We should go get some ice cream to celebrate. Would you like that? Yeah. Okay, but make sure you act sad for the teacher. No, no, Dad, please, no, please, no, no, no! Hello? Hi, honey, it's me. Are you still at the golf course? Yeah. Why? Well, I'm at the mall and I found a leather coat. It's only a thousand dollars. Can I get it? Sure. Go ahead if you really like it. Oh, and I stopped by the Mercedes dealership and I saw one that I really liked. How much is it? 98,000. Okay, but for that price, make sure it comes with all the options. Yes! Oh, and one more thing. That house that I really wanted last year is back on the market for 980,000. Well then offer them $900,000 and they'll probably take it, but if they don't, offer an extra $50,000 if you think it's a good price. Okay, I'll see you later. I love you so much. You're worth it. Bye. Does anybody know whose phone this is? Five true facts that sound made up. In any random group of 23 people, there's more than a 50% chance that two of them have a birthday on the same day. With a group of 57 people, that probability goes to 99%. The shortest war in history, which was the Anglo-Zanzibar War, lasted a total of 38 minutes. There's actually a species of ant that only exists in New York and it's called Manhattan ant. The apples you buy at a supermarket could be one year old. Most apples are picked, coated in wax, then sent to cold storage for several months before ending up in a store. The tongue of a blue whale weighs around the same weight as an entire elephant. Five people who beat the system part five. At this resort, you're not allowed to have drinks by the pool. So they made a massive straw and left the drink on their balcony. This guy said his name was Mark spelt with a C. So instead of changing the K to a C, they changed the M to a C. The teacher told them they could only have a one-sided cheat sheet. So this student taped the paper to make both sides one side. This guy's girlfriend told him to wear a plain tie. So he sent her this picture of a tie with plain now before I show you the smartest one, I found a really addicting app that lets you create games to play with your friends and also play millions of other games created by other players. Just click the link in the comments to get it. Finally, this town wasn't allowed to have a statue so close to the road, so they put a flag in it to make it a flagpole. Seven random facts you'll hear for the first time. The bones of mice are extremely flexible, so much so that they can even fit into the hole of a pen. Stop signs were yellow until they were changed into red in 1954. The defense mechanism for the mimic octopus is insane. It can change color and take on the shape of another animal like sea snakes, flounders, or lionfish. The hole in the middle of a spaghetti spoon isn't only to drain water, it's also used to measure a portion for one person. The hottest place inhabited by humans is Delol, Ethiopia, where temperatures have reached 49 degrees Celsius. The only letter in the English alphabet that isn't in the periodic table is J. When tea was first marketed, the beverage was placed in hand-sewn cloth bags. The idea was that the consumers would pull the leaves out of the bag, but they didn't know that and used it that way. They were a success and are still used like that. Five photos you'll have to look at twice. At first it looks like there's a giant pigeon, but it's actually just sitting on a ledge and the person's walking in the distance. At first it looks like there's a human dog, but the dog's actually sitting beside its owner. At first this looks like some weird looking cat, but it's actually just two cats laying in the exact same position on each side. At first it looks like this fish has an arm, but the fish just got too close to the camera. And finally, it looks like this person has a small head, but it's just the head from the person in front of them. 
Animals you should never touch. The sting of the bulletin is so painful that it could cause nausea, vomiting, and even heart problems. People who have gotten stung by this ant say the same is similar to if you got shot by a bullet. The cat moth caterpillar looks really friendly, but I would recommend that you don't touch it, because through their hairs they release a poison that can cause vomiting, weakness, and shivering. The Japanese giant hornet is so dangerous that if you touch it, it could kill you. The venom from the stinger can destroy human tissues to the point where it makes you walk with difficulty. Another highly venomous animal is the blue ringed octopus. If you you see one of these get away quickly because even though they're small, its venom can result in nausea, respiratory and heart problems, or even death if you don't treat it within a few minutes. And finally, the box jellyfish has been called the most venomous creature in the world. Its venom kills so fast that there's nothing you can do about it. Mom, this new show just came out on Disney Plus and it looks so good! We don't have Disney Plus. I know. Can we get it please? No, we already have Netflix, Amazon Prime, and whatever else we have. We don't need another. <sighs> If it's free, then go ahead, but you're not getting my credit card. Yes! Mom, do you think you could buy me a better folder to put my schoolwork in? This one's kind of falling apart. Well, it looks perfectly fine to me, but I'll go take a look to see if I have any old ones I could give to you. Mom, the teacher said today that we need to get something to um, write down notes in class. Hmm, I'm assuming she means like a notebook for you to write stuff down in. Well, you know what? Let's go get a MacBook. Mom, is it okay if two friends come over tonight since it's my birthday? No, I'm about to go to bed and I gotta wake up early, so I don't want a loud house tonight. Hey mom, I have a couple thousand people coming over tonight. Can you go get some games for us to play? Ooh, that sounds like fun. Of course, I'll also buy you guys some snacks while I'm at it. <coughs> mom, I'm doing my homework and I just have one quick question for you if you don't mind. Can you come over for a couple seconds? No, I'm gonna be busy the rest of the night. I'm sure the answer's in your textbook, just look harder. Mom, I just opened up my homework and it looks too hard. Here, how about this? If you give me your pencil, I'll let you go play some video games while I do your homework. Five insane security features of the White House. The 147 windows in the White House are backed with a second layer of ballistic glass behind each one. The drones that fly over the White House are used for two reasons. Security cameras and to eliminate any other drones that may be a threat. The White House also has a bunch of infrared sensors that cover the entire area. They're activated quickly and they alert the entire White House security. There's about 1,200 uniform agents guarding the White House 24 hours a day every single day. But there's also 2,800 agents in regular clothes ready to act if there's a threat. And finally, after two incidents when a helicopter landed on the White House and a small plane crashed on the ground, the government declared that flying over Washington DC was prohibited. If a plane doesn't follow the landing route which is at Ronald Reagan National Airport, the pilot receives a warning signal. If he doesn't follow the instructions, it can be fatal because there's surface-to-air missiles located on Capitol Hill to attack any potential threats. Hundreds of pounds of pasta were found dumped in the woods. This man was recently taking a walk in his neighborhood in Old Bridge, New Jersey when he came across something unusual. Someone had dumped a massive amount of pasta in the woods. Literal mounds of spaghetti, elbow macaroni, and ziti. The pasta was uncooked, but rainwater had softened the noodles, making them appear to be cooked. It took 15 wheelbarrows to remove the estimated 500 pounds of pasta. The mystery of who dumped it and why remains a mystery, but some people in the community believe it was a resident attempting to clean out his deceased mother's house. Five viral photos that are actually fake. First off, you've probably seen this at the start of some movies. Well, this picture went viral online because everyone thought that this is how they made the clip. But it turned out to be a photoshopped picture of a lion being treated at the veterinarians. In this photo, it looks like the cat has eyebrows and a mustache. But in the real photo, there's no eyebrows, but there's still a mustache. This photo of a pilot taking a selfie mid-flight is actually just a photoshopped picture of him on the land. This cow sitting on a car isn't real either. Although this one is more believable than the other ones, here's the original photo. And finally, Paris Hilton got a lot of hate for this image because her t-shirt says stop being poor, but it actually said stop being desperate. Five Disney secrets you didn't know. If you look closely, some scenes from different Disney movies are quite similar. This is because the drawings were made by hand, and the animators only make a few changes to create a new scene. Lilo's voice belongs to the actress who played the role of Samara Morgan in the movie The Ring. Since Walt Disney wanted to spend most of his free time at Disneyland, he created a secret apartment on the second floor of the fire station on Main Street, located on the famous avenue that leads to the park's central plaza. The name of the wizard in the movie Fantasia is Jensen, which is Disney in reverse. Simba means lion in the Swahili language, and Boo's real name is Mary because the person the person who plays her is called Mary Gibbs. Finally, Walt ordered to build a bunch of tunnels underneath the park to allow the actors to get from place to place without the public noticing so they wouldn't lose the magic of the place. 
5 photos you'll have to look at twice. First off, in this picture, it looks like the person only has half a body, but the reason it looks like that is because they're just holding up a mirror. At first, it looks like the camel wearing the red is standing on the camel wearing the blue, but the camel in the red is just farther back in the photo. It looks like this rock is falling from the sky and about to hit the raccoon, but it's actually just a rock in a lake and the lake has a reflection of the sky. At first, this might look like a painting, but it's actually just a swan swimming in water. And finally, we have this building that's almost floating, and to be honest, I don't even know what's going on here. A musical instrument that can be played without touching it. The theremin was invented by accident in 1920 by the Russian musician and scientist Leon Theremin. He was creating a device that could measure the density of gases, but realized what he made produced sound that changed according to your hand position. The instrument consists of a box with two metal antennas on the sides and oscillators that control the frequency and amplitude of sound. The electrical signals produced by the instrument are then sent to a loudspeaker. The first antenna is on the right, which controls the pitch. The closer you place your hand, the sharper the sound is. The farther you move your hand away from the antenna, the louder it will be. The theremin has been used several times to create themes for television shows and was played in the 70s by Jimmy Page, who's the founder of the Led Zeppelin band. Rich athletes that went completely broke, part one. First off, we have Mike Tyson, who's earned over $400 million in his career. He spent a lot of money on random things, but the most random one has to be his tigers. He spent a total of $70,000 to get three tigers, but in order to feed them, he has to pay another $200,000 per year. He then had to pay another $125,000 to get them house trained at his $2.5 million dollar mansion. But that didn't seem to work because one of them attacked his neighbor and he was forced to pay another $250,000 in damage bills. So just from his tigers alone, he spent $650,000, which still isn't that much for him since he can get paid $30 million for a fight. But he kept doing things like that. For example, spending $2 million on gold bathtubs, millions more on limos, parties, clothes, vehicles, mansions, and a ton more. Until in 2003 when he went bankrupt and by the age of 37, he was $38 million in debt. But only seven years before that, he spent over $400,000 on one night of partying for his 30th birthday. 10 facts you didn't know that could save your life. If your house ever smells like fish for no reason, nine times out of 10, it's because there's an electrical fire. If you're in a foreign country and you need to call for help, but you don't know the emergency number, call 112 and it'll automatically connect you to the nearest helpline. If a tornado looks like it's not moving, it's actually moving towards you. If you ever wake up to the smell of gas, don't turn on a light. A spark from the light switch could blow up your entire house. Lying flat on your back is the best way to survive a falling elevator. If your hair suddenly stands up, duck and cover because you're about to be struck by lightning. If you ever fall off the edge onto the tracks, don't try and crawl back up. There's a crawl space built to go underneath in case this happens. If a deer runs across the road, it's better to hit it than swerve into the ditch. But if it's a moose, then it's better to swerve into the ditch. Because hitting a moose is like hitting a brick wall. Even if you have no service, you can still dial 911. In an emergency, your phone will connect to the nearest tower. If you ever get kidnapped into the back of a vehicle, disconnect the brake light wires so the cops will pull them over then kick on the door to let them know that you're there. Would you rather have 30 million dollars or 30 million loyal friends? Easy, 30 million loyal friends. Really? Why? Because I can just ask them all to give me one dollar each and since they're loyal, they'll give it to me. Oh, I never thought about that. Then I can run for president and boom, I'll already have 30 million votes. Jeez, that's smart. Then I can start a business like an ice cream shop and I'll already have 30 million loyal customers. Wow, you've really thought this through, haven't you? Then I could charge them $3 a scoop and tell all of them to buy one scoop a day so that's $90 million a day. Do you want to play tag? Sure. You're it first. Okay. Tay, now you're it. Hey, that's not fair. You need to give me a couple seconds to get away from me first. <sighs> Fine. Okay, come and get me. <laughs> gotcha. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I didn't see anything. Fine then. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! What's going on up here? Luke slapped me. Go to your room. You're grounded for a month. Are you guys ready to order? Yeah, can I get your guys' famous burger just without the tomatoes, please? You don't like tomatoes? No! I love them! For some reason, I just don't want them on my burger. Mom, look what I got on my math test! Oh my gosh! Did you actually get 100%? No! I got 10%, but my teacher accidentally wrote an extra zero. So, did you come to watch the game? No! I came to do my homework! Hi, I'd like to cancel my phone plan, please. May I ask why? Well, I just bought a house that came with internet installed already, so I decided I'm going to switch my phone over to the same provider. Well, how much are you going to pay at the other provider? It's around the same price, but I just want to keep everything on the same bill. Well, if you stay with us, I can offer you 50% off per month. What? 
You're telling me I could have just lied about this and got 50% off? Fine, sir. If that's not enough, I can offer you 70% off. Well, maybe I'll check with the other provider first just to see how much the bundle will cost. Fine. Free. If you stay with us, you don't have to pay. Free? You know what? That's it. If you stay with us, we will pay you $100 a month. Just please don't leave. Four bizarre Japanese inventions. Capsule hotels became popular in Japan because they're ideal to stay for one or two nights. They're barely two meters long and one meter high and cost between $25 and $50 a night. They also include a television and Wi-Fi. They've also created a very strange silicone device that supposedly trains the muscles in your face and makes it slimmer. I think I need one. Apparently spreading butter is difficult for the Japanese. So they created a butter grater. It softens the butter a bit so you could spread it with ease. Now for $70, you could buy a pillow shaped as a woman's leg in a dress. And for a woman, they made a pillow of a man's chest with an arm so you could rest your head in. Five close calls caught on camera. A fan falls from the ceiling, luckily landing right in the middle of people sitting on the floor. <laughs> this car tries to pass a trailer and nearly runs into the oncoming traffic. A guy on a motorcycle nearly collides with a horse and a buggy crossing the road. This woman runs across the street and is nearly hit by a truck before slipping, falling, and just barely missing the back of the truck's tire. Five rare phobias you've never heard of. Plutophobia is fear of money. People with this condition are afraid of handling, making, and being around money. Some people might even sabotage their own careers to avoid making money. Omphalophobia is fear of belly buttons. In an extreme case, one person with this phobia became physically sick from just the sight of a belly button. Decidophobia is exactly what it sounds like, a fear of making decisions. Dextrophobia is the fear of having objects on the right side of your body. This can also include the fear of being right Handed. And lastly, there's phobophobia, which is, you guessed it, the fear of phobias. The answers to three questions about planes you've always wanted to ask. Why don't they have the same seatbelts as cars? For shoulder straps to work, it has to be attached to something sturdy like a car frame. And airplane walls aren't equipped for that. If they were, it would make the plane heavier, making it burn more fuel. Plane seatbelts have lift lever buckles, making it stronger, and so you can't accidentally open it. Why do planes have red and green lights on their wings? The red light is always on the left wing, and the green light is always on the right wing. This way, other pilots in traffic control can tell which way the plane is flying. The two different colors also make it less likely for the plane to be confused with something like a drone. Why are the windows round? Rounding corners help distribute stress, reducing the chance of it breaking. Square windows are dangerous because the sharp angles are easy to crack because of air pressure. Five huge pop songs that were originally written for other artists. Pharrell originally wrote the song Happy for CeeLo Green, but studio executives wanted Pharrell to sing it himself, and it went on to become a mega hit. The Beyonce breakup song called Irreplaceable has distinct country vibes because it was originally meant for a country singer like Shania Twain or Faith Hill. Selena Gomez's first song called Come and Get It was a huge huge hit that started her music career, but the song was originally written for Rihanna who passed on it. And speaking of Rihanna, her hit song called Umbrella was written for Britney Spears in 2007, but both her and Mary J. Bleach passed on it. And finally, baby one more time is how the world was introduced to Britney Spears, but it was first offered to the girl group called TLC. This 17 year old goes to her friend's house for a sleepover, but then something terrible happens. In June 2008, when Cody was at his friend's house for a sleepover, his mom called him to check on him, but he didn't answer, so then she got worried. Cody ended up calling her back later, but by the sound of his voice, his mom could tell that something was wrong, so she called 911 immediately. At the hospital, they told them that he had suffered from a stroke. They then had to send him by a helicopter to a special medical institute in another state for treatment. Every single second that passed was crucial. When he got there, he had emergency surgery because he had a lot of swelling in his brain. They had to wait three weeks to see the results from the surgery to see if Cody would make it. They said it would take Cody a long time to speak again, but he was able to speak again just one month after surgery and his first words were, I love you mom and thanks to the surgeons for saving my life. He had to do rehab to learn how to do many things again, but after two years, he was fully recovered. Five animals that can kill themselves. Sometimes the horns of rams and goats grow so curved and big that they penetrate their skull causing their death. Horses and donkeys can suffer from abnormal growth in their hooves. If their hooves aren't trimmed, they can no longer walk because of the pain causing them to die from starvation. When turtles fall on their back, it's really hard for them to roll back over. When this happens, they usually die from too much sun, starvation, or attacks from another animal. During mating season, deers get into such aggressive fights with each other that their antlers get stuck together to the point where they can't be untied. When this happens and no one can separate them, the deer die because they're 
they're unable to eat. Finally, the deer pig is famous for its two upper tusks. The growth becomes so uncontrollable that it pierces the upper part of their jaw. And in some cases, when they're really big, they could pierce their skull, causing their death. Five of the newest words added to the Oxford English Dictionary in 2023. First up is dap, which is defined as a casual greeting, typically involving slapping palms, bumping fists, or snapping fingers. The acronym CODA, meaning child of deaf adults, has been around since the 90s, but was recently popularized by the Oscar movie with the same name, and now is officially in the dictionary. Porch pirate refers to someone who steals a package that is left unattended outside of the recipient's house. Final girl is a character term in horror movies, referring to the female protagonist who defeats the villain and is the only one left alive. And finally, a super yacht is, well, exactly what it sounds like. An extravagantly luxurious boat reserved for the richest of the rich. Did you know bananas are going extinct? Currently, the most common and available type of banana on the market is Cavendish. But this wasn't always the case. Up until the 1960s, a different type of banana called the Gros Michel was in stores. But a fungus called Panama disease destroyed thousands of banana crops around the world, which eventually eventually caused the Gros Michel banana to go extinct. It was then replaced with a more disease resistant banana, which is the Cavendish. Now, 60 years later, the fungus is back and threatening to repeat history. Due to the lack of genetic diversity in Cavendish bananas, they're not as resistant to fungus like they once were. And the fungus has also evolved to be immune to most pesticides. One expert estimates that Panama disease could reduce banana production by 80 to 85% each year, which could eventually lead to extinction, or at very least, cost you a lot more at the grocery store. One day, a teacher named Nancy noticed his student wasn't acting like he normally did. So she decided to ask him if everything was okay. He started talking about his father and what he said broke his teacher's heart. His father named Daryl Peterson was very ill. Both of his kidneys were only working at 20% and he needed a transplant as soon as possible. The reason the boy was sad is because he never knew when it would be the last time he'd seen his father. His teacher felt terrible that this was happening to one of her students so she decided to phone his dad. She wanted to help the family and not just by doing something like offering to take care of his kid, but she offered him one of her kidneys. It turned out that the two were compatible and they went through with the transplant. Now Nancy isn't just his teacher, but also his hero. Five TV shows that got cancelled after one episode. NBC picked up the popular MySpace series called Quarter Life for six episodes. But when the first episode premiered and got terrible ratings, NBC moved the other five episodes to its sister channel called Bravo. The Osborne family's variety show called Osborne's Reloaded was cancelled by Fox after one episode because many of their affiliate stations refused to air it. ABC supposedly committed to the sitcom called Emily's Reasons Why Not without ever reading a script that cancelled the show after one episode due to bad reviews. The Animal Planet tried their shot at a stand-up comedy competition show called Comedians Unleashed, but the animal puns got old after one episode. And finally, Australia's naughtiest home videos was pulled from the air only halfway through the first episode because the head of the network was so offended by the show that he called the studio and told them to get that bleep off the air. Hi, I'm here to pick up my order of chicken and rice. For Luke? Yup. Here you go. Thank you. Really? That's amazing. Luke, what's my Amazon password? How would I know? Because you're young, you should know these things. Did you try my name? Yes. What about my birthday? Nope, didn't work. I don't know then, why don't you just change it? Can you do that? I don't know how. Okay, now you just need to log into your email and change the password. But I don't know my email's password. Athletes who were caught cheating. In 2012, it was confirmed that cyclist Lance Armstrong had used drugs throughout his career to enhance his performance. He received a lifetime ban and got his seven Tour de France victories taken away. Tom Brady demanded that the balls being used in a game between the Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts were to be slightly inflated to gain an advantage. Although they won 45 to seven, Brady was fined $4 million and banned for four games. Ben Johnson cheated to win the 100 meter dash in the 1988 Olympics. A prohibited anabolic steroid was detected in his samples for which he was banned for two years. Years. A few years later, he tested positive again and was banned for life. Finally, in the 1986 World Cup, in a game between Argentina and England, Diego Maradona scored a goal with his hand, and the referee counted it despite the evidence.
Three things Disneyland doesn't want you to know. For a long time, there's been a rumor that some of the bones on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride are from real human skeletons. In 2014, a writer asked an employee about the rumor as he was getting off the ride, and she said the skeleton sitting above the bed in the treasure room contains a real human skull. Underneath Disneyland, there's a massive system of underground tunnels. One of the purposes for the tunnels is to keep the magic alive by hiding the characters when they're not supposed to be seen. Emergency vehicles also use the tunnels to get to their patient while trying to be unseen by the public so they don't kill the vibe. Disneyland strategically releases a vanilla scent through smellitizers which look like speakers. They do this because the scent is proven to calm people down and it also makes them hungry so they'll spend more money on food. At the main entrance, they use the smell of popcorn. The haunted mansion is made to smell musty and at the Pirates of the Caribbean, they release the scents of wet wood and sea salt. Five insanely lucky moments in sports. In the final seconds of this high school basketball game, a player throws up a wild full court shot and manages to make it to win the game. Next up, this baton handoff should have been a disaster, but because of a few lucky bounces, the runners were able to save it. During a college football game, this pass should have easily been intercepted. But luckily for Auburn, two players from the other team collided and the ball flew right into the arms of the receiver to complete the touchdown. After an incredible volley, it seems like Roger Federer is about to lose the point. Well, he's somehow able to make an incredible return between his legs. Okay, this one might not be lucky, this one might just be skill. And finally, Russell Westbrook is out of control as he dribbles towards the net. Not only does he draw a foul, he tosses up a Hail Mary that rolls off the backboard, hits the rim, then bounces in. How was school today, Luke? It was so boring, I just hate it. Breaking news. Turn up, turn up, turn up! Okay, jeez. Tonight, we're expecting 45 to 50 centimeters of snow, so avoid traveling if you can. 50 centimeters? I hope it's a snow day tomorrow. Dad, what are the chances that it'll be a snow day tomorrow? I don't know. You've asked me a hundred times today, it's getting really annoying, so just go to bed. Okay, jeez. I swear, if it's not a snow day tomorrow, I don't even know what will happen. Uh-oh. It's the moment of truth. Come on, my heart's beating so fast. Please, please. Yes! <laughs> Are you guys ready to play Fortnite all day? <gasps> it's a snow day! Oh. Right. Good morning, class. How is everyone today? Good. Hey, hi, Luke. Who is that? Cindy. Oh, yeah. Mom, she's just a friend. Just a friend, hey? Aha! Cindy Lachlan. Lachlan, 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 Lachlan! Hello? Yeah, hi, it's Luke's mom. Who? It's Luke Davidson's mom. Oh, hi. I was wondering if your daughter would like to go on a date with my son sometime. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a wonderful idea. <gasps> we were just at the mall the other day. I don't get why you made me come back again. Oh, hey again, Cindy. Hi, Luke. I set you guys up on a date. Why don't you go to bed early so when you wake up, you can open all your presents? <gasps> That's a good idea. I can't wait for tomorrow! What time is it? Only 3 a.m.? 